Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise. I hope you guys are ready. Yeah. It is playoff yeah. time. After all the hours, the weeks, the months, it all comes down to this. The journey to the grand finals is almost complete. They've done it again! Unbelievable! And the rock stars of the Overwatch League continue to crank out power cords. Ooh, get rocked! There's only one week left, so if you want to stake your claim, cement that legacy, there's no time like the now. We know it won't be easy to hold that trophy, to wear that crown, but if you want it, come and get it. Welcome to the Overwatch League playoffs by Xfinity, ladies and gentlemen. There is beautiful downtown Los Angeles, California, and here are beautiful Doa and Monte Cristo. We will be guiding you, your shamans, your spirit <laughs> sort of captains through this wonderful match that is going to be our winner's bracket finals. That's right, it's the Vancouver Titans taking on the NYXL. We got the best team from last year, the best team from this year. Who's going to win? I don't know. Many people have described me as their spirit animal, though. So <laughs> I, I have seen <laughs> it's a good, that. good intro. I've seen it on the Twitters. Yeah, uh, but coming yeah. back, I mean, this is really an extraordinary matchup. We didn't get yeah. to see this matchup in the regular season until the very last day when it was relatively meaningless for both teams. And yet it still went to those five games. So this is going to be really exciting stuff, especially because the NYXL came into these playoffs with very low expectations, not only given their form in stage four, but also their, frankly, history of choking in high pressure situations, but they've really delivered so far. That's right. Let's take a look at our bracket so we kind of see where things have brought us so far. You can see Titans versus Excelsior. Keep in mind, this is the top two teams from each division as well. Pacific and Atlantic clashing now in the winner's finals to see who gets that first trip to the grand finals in Philly. And what's really crazy to know is we have the first two seeds in our winner's bracket finals, and the remaining two teams are our third and fourth seeds from the regular season. You yeah. almost never see this at the final four teams would be the top four seeds, especially when we consider the change to roll lock, the change in the meta for stage four, the addition of Sigma. And yet right. these teams that were on top of the regular season have made it the deepest in the playoffs so far. Last year, we had our fifth and sixth, our bottom two seeds in the grand finals. So big change. Hey, that's called meta proof, right? <laughs> and when you look at a team like NY, so sometimes you kind of wonder if that's a title you can kind of apply to them, especially after how their stage four went. But here in the playoffs, Sabilby is really showing up again. He's played like every map, I believe, in the playoffs. And the guy's been killing it. Yeah, and it's been a big turnaround for him because in stage four, Sabilby, he only played five maps, but he only won 35% of his team fights. Now in the playoffs, he's played 11 maps and he's up to 60%. So Sabilby has really stepped up when it matters most. And yeah. he and... He's doing a great job of carrying this team. And if we look at his stats compared to Selman Su, the Reaper player of the Vancouver Titans, notice those highlighted stats. Much more damage taken, much more healing received. Hmm. And okay. what this means is that he's getting pocketed very heavily. So he is the focus of a lot of the heals. He's the one who's going in, whereas Libero is the one who's staying a little bit back and looking for those openings. We typically see think about the NYXL as a very reactive team, yeah. waiting for their opponents to make a mistake before going in, whereas the Titans are a team that likes to play aggressively. They want to to go in and make you make a mistake instead. And the thing is, so far that has worked actually for the Vancouver Titans. These teams have met twice this season and the Titans have won both times. They won in the stage playoffs earlier and they also won in the stage four regular season match. You can see in the stage two semifinals, it was a 4-1 victory. It was a 3-2, much more narrow victory for the Titans in stage four. But, you know, again, that was a match that didn't really mean anything, quote unquote. Uh, according to the standings and all that, it was kind of just sort of a show for the fans, but it was an exciting match. I kind of hope we go the distance again today, but I think the vibe is going to be different. They're going to be out for blood today. Yeah, and a lot of the difference now, especially for the Vancouver Titans, they're riding this wave of the Hoxall Doomfist. This yeah. guy has, was a legend before he entered the Overwatch League for his Genji play, and there's a lot of similarities in the way that he plays the Genji and the Doomfist. Notably, what I mean is in Genji, you kind of have to have a th three-dimensional map in your mind of where the other... Uh, the 
enemy team's players are so you can get resets and make the most out of your mobility. And he, he still has that mental map with the Doomfist. He is so aware of the players around him and the space, and he just seems to like map out these three-dimensional trajectories in his mind for Doomfist and also for his Genji. It's impressive. You can see those stats that you think would correlate with that thing you just described do in fact correlate. Hero damage <laughs> the most per 10. Eliminations the most per 10 in the league right now. So he's definitely making it work. And like you said, there's a lot of similarities with the Genji and all that too, because you got to go behind people yep. with the Genji. Doomfist is good at sneaking up behind as well. But uh, yeah. Yeah, it's really exciting. So Hoxall, definitely the player you want to look out for. And he's going to be the more aggressive Doomfist in this matchup. Right. He's going to be the one going in and looking to make the play. Whereas typically we think of Libero as the one who's waiting for the other team to come in. And he's the punisher, not really the, the aggressive actor. So really big difference in styles between the Titans and the NYXL tonight. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to introduce our two teams in this series first. We'll introduce a team on top of the Atlantic Division, a team that was denied a spot at the finals in their own home city. Can they get to the finals this season? Let's hear it for the NYXL. And you can see Sabi will be leading the charge, taking the stage again quite a bit in the playoffs. I think uh, you really have to mention Mecco as well when you talk about Absolutely. this NYXL team right now. Their tank line has been doing great. Echo especially on the Sigma has made such a smooth and effective transition away from the other heroes like the Diva. Looking really good. Yeah, and speaking of Mecco, right now he has a 73% team by win rate with Gravitic Flux. That means he's 13.1% over their team fight win average. So if wow. he uses that flux, their chance to win a team fight goes up 13% over their average. You compare that to Janu. When Janu uses Gra Gravitic Flux, it's only 1.9% additional. So really big difference. NYXL has been much better at playing around Sigma ults and turning them into team fight wins. Their opponents, though, are not going to get pushed over easily. A team that was known as Runaway back in Korea that dominated the Korean Overwatch scene. Now they have dominated the Overwatch League scene. Can they complete it with a trip to the Grand Finals? Let's hear it for the Vancouver Titans. And notably, I would say with this team, perhaps the biggest surprise going into the playoffs is the inclusion of TZ at main tank over bumper in a lot of maps. Yeah, it has been a surprise. TZ uh, was cut last year, signed and cut last year by the London Spitfire, has now rejoined the Overwatch League under the aegis of the Vancouver Titans. Yeah. And I, you know, you have to think, Vancouver thinks he's going to be the better Orisa player in this meta. And you know, he's been pretty good. Yeah. He has. Uh, he's currently one of our stats leaders on that Orisa, actually, and just kind of generally has a very good sense of when to walk forward, I think, especially. And he's going up against a tough opponent as well, because Mono, known for years and years as one of the best main tanks across a multitude of different heroes in Overwatch. You can see the stat comparison, though. Right now, TZ looking a little bit on top. Yeah, the only category he's not ahead of is in the deaths for 10 minutes, where he's dying a little bit more than Mono, which you expect as more the more aggressive, aggressive team. Yeah. But Mono, who we think about, as you say, is one of the very best tanks in this league, is a little bit down in terms of stats right now on TZ. Right, they're, they're kind of two sides of the same coin, where they're both two main tanks that are exceedingly good at knowing their limits, but one likes to take that and play it to a more defensive trajectory, and the other likes to go the opposite, be a little bit more aggressive. So it's an excellent main tank matchup in this series. It is one of the many, many, many things I'm incredibly excited about uh, watching today. Yeah, and the lower stats, especially in damage, make sense for Mono, because a lot of the time, NYXL will be playing around the, the map architecture and terrain. Yeah. So they're going to be hiding around a corner until you make an error, and then they're going to engage. So you don't necessarily have that same level of damage output when you play in that style. So our map set brought to you by Toyota. We're going to go to Lijiang Tower first, chosen by our higher seed. And from then on, it will be the loser of the map that picks the next one. So see so who gets it done on control to get themselves one step closer to the Overwatch League 2019 Grand Finals. It's a first to four today. Four map wins will get you there. But how many maps is going to take us to get there? That's the question. It's, we've gone up to eight in the playoffs already. I think NYXL coming in may have a little bit more strategic diversity that we've seen when it comes to running a lot of these Bastion compositions. Vancouver Titans, they've really doubled down on what we're seeing right now, which is going to be the Doomfist and the Reaper. Don't worry, Summon Sue will switch over after using the Symmetra Teleport to the Reaper. Bit of a boost on the distance anyway. Yep, just going to go ahead there. 
And this is very important because it allows you to get the presence on the point just a little bit faster than your opponents. Yeah. As you right. can see right now, they're already threatening it, putting some damage in from the angle. Oh. The going to take out Twilight. They were split up. Oh, that is huge, That's too, a big error. So many of these fights really are determined by who gets the first coalescence. And if you lose your Moira, you're in huge trouble. They were Massive pick for New York. Yeah, Vancouver Titans were split around the choke point right there. and. Looked like Twilight just a little bit too far forward and caught out, and they are not going to get a chance to take the point because the Titans will re-engage. They're going back in again, but TZ's really low. Watch that health. He's getting a little bit of healing now, and it's going to be Liberal and Hawksaw both falling simultaneously here as the team's making a Doomfist list. 5v5. Mono, though, finally taken out by TZ. That aggression coming through like we talked about. Vancouver Titans still having to dodge around this coalescence. We talked about Jonak getting his faster, but now that they didn't really lose anyone from that, the Vancouver Titans are going to come back with Twilight's in just a moment. Maybe it'll be enough to take this point. Yeah, they've been forced back, though, and now the later Coalescence comes in from the side of the Titans. Twilight died yep. first, so it took longer to charge. That's it, and they are shoving XL back. Both Reapers fall now, and here comes the Sound Bear for Animo Slime. He's going to have his right at the moment, uses it immediately upon getting it. There's Shanu with the Gravitic Flux, takes out Mono, and after this incredibly long battle, Back and forth battle. It will be the Titans eventually securing the point for themselves. And they flipped it earlier, so already up to 16%. Excellent re-engage there from the side of the Vancouver Titans. Coming back because they realized they had enough time just to get presence on the point before Twilight could return. NYXL may have wanted to push that a little bit harder. Remember when you lose your Moira first, you're out a lot of healing. And NYXL, they did not punish that enough. I agree. I, I'm really surprised that they didn't take that opportunity to go for the big 6v5 push. But played it safe and a little bit too safe, maybe. Here we go. Another Coalescence coming in from Jonak now. Trying to get a lot of damage through the shields onto the back lines. That all does pierce that, so it does help a little bit with that. And now the engage. Here comes the Doomfist Hawks all going in, just placing members of the New York Excelsior, leading it Hawks to three so. Meteor Strike. Massacre indeed. Vancouver Titans crush that team fight. Here's the part where we mention Hawksall's name in Korean means massacre. It does. And that's uh, that's why. <laughs> that's why, ladies and gentlemen. Just living up to his namesake right there. Titans use a lot of ultimates on that gauge. Engage. You can see XL, though, maintaining that coalescence advantage, meaning that they are getting just a few more of those Moyer ultimates for, for fight. Because of Twilight's early death, they're going to come in again. Oh, John, who extremely low. Can the Titans keep him alive? Libero, though. No, the Titans turn it around and get a kill of their own. Gravitic Flux comes in for Mecho, but didn't really get anything out of that one. Now the Titans can re-engage half elf on their tanks, but they're okay. Someone who comes in. Sable will be trying to flip this fight, but only gets one. Only a kill on the TZ. Maybe with the support ultimates used, they can turn it around onto the Titans. New York still has some meat in the fight, but no. Now that Slime pops his ult, that's going to be all she wrote, man. New York is going to push back, and that was really the last fight. They had a chance at winning. It's going to be all cleanup now for the Titans. If they can just kill these few more members, of the Excelsior, they can secure round one here. And it's looking elementary. Jonak zoned out by that Meteor Strike and a turn right around for the kill on. Save will be Teasy picking up two at the end there. And that should be about it for round one. The Titans coming out in the lead. The Titans dominant, 100 to zero, even though there were some team fight wins in there from the NYXL. Titans so good at playing around the objective, getting back to the point in time, that they don't actually give up any control of that point whatsoever. Yeah, you know, I, I feel like there were team fight wins, but they were just not full team fight wins. There were like little team fight victories, but they lost the team fight war, if you know what I mean? I think NYXL really missed out. They had to push that advantage yeah. that they got at the very start harder. Couldn't agree more. Yeah, there's just not enough healing when your Moira dies early in those fights. So it should be at that point an easy win, but they weren't willing to play aggressively. Probably XL thought that they were going to be able to flip the point or capture it before Twilight got back, but that wasn't the case. That's right. Same compositions again. The Symmetra is just boosting the team out with the TP. Teleport around. Yep. And they are just going to use the Shadow Step on the Reaper. So those going to be both the, teams using the Symmetra this time. Yeah, early aggression coming in. Bono really low. They got to keep the tanks alive. Meanwhile, the Rock comes in onto Janu. He gets taken down to nearly no health. Luckily, he's got the Kinetic Grasp to get himself a bit more shields that keeps him alive. And now Mono down Hawksaw comes in for the assassination. And already, NYXL pushed back. And they're on the retreat. Whoa, Hawksall! Rocket punch to get himself back to safety, but that's it. No safety for the New York Excelsior, meanwhile. And it is going to be the Titans taking the point first. I mean, Mono got chunked out very early on because Hawksall just running into them. The Titans are giving them a lot of space in order to react. You'll notice the way the Titans are playing is just running at that front line right now and opening up space for Hawksall to make some plays. 
So with Mono very low at the start of the engagement, they have to pull back. They no longer have that Orisa to hide behind, and Hoxall's able to re-engage once his cooldowns are back up and pick off the main tank of the XL. And both teams going to be counting on the support ultimates in this next fight. Anamo and Jonak a little bit farther along, Slime lagging behind, and a sound barrier that might make a difference. We'll see if it does. As the fight begins, Twilight using his Coalescence to keep New York bottled up. There is a Gravitic Flux used by Janu. No kills out of that one. Excelsior returns their favor with their own Moira ultimate. Old Doofus picking up kills here, but there goes Mono. The crucial main tank down Somensu. The aggression working out. Titans are playing this so much better, Noah. Oh, yeah. When we look at what's going on right now, so you see they're going to make a trade. And the trade is Vancouver Titans lose their Doomfist, but they keep their Reaper. Now, NYXL going to lose that Reaper very early on. And Titans, when they have that advantage, so if they just wait at the point, they're basically opening up an opportunity for the enemy Doomfist to get picked. So they have to play aggressively with the sustained damage. And they just charge right in. They yeah. don't even give Libero a chance oh, to hit this. another Rocket Punch. So Mitsu, do they check oh, their corner? Doomfist, he's just going in! Booped away, but a lot of damage was done there. Can the Vancouver Titans follow up? Maybe, I don't know, Supercharger used, but there goes Mono Hoxwell finally gets a killing blow. And New York was not prepared for that Doomfist around the corner. Here comes a Meteor Strike. Which way is it gonna go? Who's he gonna choose? Gonna land right on Mecco. Gets stunned by the rock. Has to try to get out of there. A little bit of shield, but not enough to... Oh, he does? No, he doesn't get away. Mecco comes in for the killing blow anyway. Janu and TZ respond, though. The aggression from the tanks on the Titan side of things. Certainly carrying through, and they're over 90% right now. If New York does not Libero. win a fight right now, and they may off the back of Libero, New York's gonna lose this point, but no! They're switching around, Doomfist got in the back lines! That's right, Toa, and the difference there is Vancouver Titans were trying to control that choke point, but their supports were pretty far back. Libero realized that if he flanked around to the back side of the point, he was going to have a really good angle on some of those supports. So watch, he's gonna come all the way back around during that Gravitic Flux, and he says, all right, let's make some plays back here. Gets TZ first, there's the Moira, and the Lucio as well. He's gonna pick up the support kills, so this is the kind of play that can punish the Titans. If they get spread out like that, and go too aggressive wow. in these chokes. You gotta make the flank plays. Libero reacts and he gets the limbs. Yeah, traditionally Libero's been one of those uh, players in Overwatch that's been able to pick up a lot of different heroes really quickly. Usually playing the heroes that are less played initially. Coming up big with Max or Doomfist experience. Save will be the kill on the Soman Sue as we start things off. Twilight, ultimate onto his. Let's see if Libero can get anything out of this. Meteor Strike doesn't matter. He gets Hawks off, but the fight already won by New York. Now the question is, Four ults. can Vancouver Bring it back. Four ults used by the NYXL there. Sabiobi and Animo, the only ones not to use theirs, and they're not very close either. Not sure you needed that Meteor Strike to finish up on the Flux. Titans, though, they can just play an eco push right here, see if they can get a team fight, and then come back right before we hit 99-99. I mean, they may just be able to poke a little bit, pick yep. up some ultimates as they well. Can. It's, gonna, yeah. it's not looking great for the XL. Now they're getting aggressive. Sabiobi in the back lines. They gotta worry about that a little bit. He's gonna have to raid for him back to his team. They don't, have any, they don't have any cover, though, Toa. If he yeah. gets the Death Blossom, there's nothing to protect him during the animation. That's the scary part, right? Sabi will be close to his own Death Blossom. Slime uses the sound barrier early, and now Sabi will be coming on the back lines, wants to get that ultimate. As soon as he kills that Supercharger, a couple more kills nearly gets booped off the edge, and Libero gets a kill on the Twilight. The distraction from Sabi will be, that's enough. Goes and uses his ultimate anyway. No one really around for the night. That was puzzling. And now Hawksaw coming back with the 2K, so maybe the Titans can actually turn this around, make a three, and Mecco's off the edge, and the Titans, they flip the point, and despite the heroics from Libero, it looks like New York's gonna be giving this one up again, and this may be a 2-0 for the Titans. It is going to be a 2-0 for the Titans, so they just gotta finish off Sam BLB, who's in that raid form, he's going to fall, and that should That's be about it. it, unless they can get that Doomfist well, out of the point, they no. cannot. And the Titans, Take a commanding early lead. That was, you know, aside from a few fights, pretty dominant by Vancouver. Totally agree, Duh. It was really clean execution for the Titans, who are just playing this hyper-aggressive style of the choke points. And NYXL, they are not adapting to this right now. They need to fall back, give a little room. And also, just a misplay at the end there, when you have that sound barrier and the death loss, it has to be effective, yeah. and it wasn't. That's the thing, New York, with some things to clean up. While we're on break, we'll see if they can do just that in map two when we return. The Overwatch League is powered by Intel. Game, record, stream without compromise on Intel Core i7. Omen, the official PC and display of the Overwatch League. And by Zipchair Gaming. 
the official chair supplier of the Overwatch League. They don't just play for a team. They play for every fan, every rival, every moment, every match. And when everyone watching expects the best, they perform with the best. That's right, the Grand Finals, guys, September 29th, 3 p.m. Eastern. I cannot wait for that, man. That is going to be an incredible match, no matter who makes it. Yeah, I, I, I love the double elimination system. It will offer probably some very interesting storylines, of course. Already is. In this match today, uh, the losing team is not eliminated because we are in the winner's bracket final, so they will go on to play the winner of the Spark versus the Shock on Sunday. Yep. So, very exciting stuff. So another chance for either the Titans or the NYXL to go ahead and make those finals in Philadelphia. That's right. So one of the things we talked about before the series was the Sigma play on both of these teams' side, and we were speaking very well of Mecco, but it was all Janu in that first map. And look at this, too. Gravitic Flux kills 9 to 2, Accretion kills 6 to 1. And why this is important, especially the Accretion kills, is that this is the major stun uh, in the meta composition that's happening right now. And look at those Hypersphere directed, yes. 116 to 67. That is just unbelievable accuracy, yeah. Janu. It also comes down to the fact that the Titans had 42 eliminations to 19 of the uh, NYXL, so definitely does help when you have a higher amount of eliminations. But accretion is so important because that's the major way that you're going to be stop stunning the Doomfist. You're going to be stopping the Death Blossom a lot of the time. Yeah. And so accretion kills means that uh, if someone's hit by accretion, within five seconds if they die, that counts as an accretion kill. So you really want to have that teamwork focusing down 
on that Sigma rock ability uh, in order to take out the target. But that wasn't there, and they are going to need much more out of Mecco to shut down Hawksall. Absolutely. You know, another thing to talk about with those hyper spears on this on Sigma's kit is that those slightly pull you towards the center when they detonate. So it's a way to really kind of mess up people's aim and positioning too if you're hitting a lot of yes. those. So that can have an effect over the course of a map. It'll be King's Row here, selected by the New York Excelsior. Going to our hybrid map. Now remember, uh, Vancouver Titans did not lose on this map until these playoffs. So they are 11 and 1 overall, as you can see on your screen lower left. New York Excelsior 6 and 3, still respectable, but they have to overcome one of the Titans' strongest maps. They're very good at hybrid in general. Of course, Titans also famous for their Numbani play. Well, it's just, you know, it's just one of those, uh, it's just one of those maps too that everybody kind of feels comfortable on, you know? If you want to get back in a series, you don't even maybe look at the win record on that. You just kind of say, you know what? We feel really good on King's Row because it's been around forever. It's a great map. But also, one of the hallmarks of the NYXL in this playoffs have been the, has been the Bastion pickup. Looks yeah. like they're not going to go for it this time around. Uh, too bad. Said it's, it's going to be more Doomfist Reaper. Not sure about this from the NYXL. There are often places, especially on the high ground on this map, that you can post up a Bastion. It is viable well, on A attack. Especially when teams have started using the Symmetra to kind of teleport the Bastion around in turret form. Yeah, Symmetra and Bastion is a composition we've seen from the NYXL. Yeah, that's right. So you're getting aggressive here. Hawksall has to back away. Doesn't really get anything with that early rocket punch now. Libero just waiting Lock for the flank. flank opportunity here. Yeah, coming in from behind New York. Loading up a shot onto the Sigma. Does some damage here, but not enough to kill him. Danu gets out. Oh, he gets stunned with the rock, but no one there for the follow-up from, from uh, Vancouver. Now the rocket punch loaded up. Here comes an early coalescence from, John, or from uh, Jonak. And Janu is already down. New York looking really good in the 6v5, but they got to keep that aggression going. They've got the Titans bottled back up in the hotel. Nice, nice rocket job. punch. Good damage onto TZ and Mecco there with the follow-up. That is the damage that he was lacking in that first map. And it looks like New York is going to get the payload moving quick. Yeah, great job of playing the terrain, playing that angle right there. And one thing about the Vancouver Titans is oftentimes you cannot play as aggressively as we saw on that last map when they're on defense. So, you know, they have to play the point, they have to play the objective just a little bit better. And that time around, the pickoff good from the NYXL, they forced them all back into the hotel. And when they come out, there's already a rocket punch from Libero locked and loaded. You know, you and I were talking during the break and you were saying, you know, well, that looked like a good map for Vancouver, but they can't keep playing that way in some of these other maps. I feel like we're kind of that there. Oh, that's a big Gravitic Flux. Nice sound barrier. That's right, Janu. Up in the air, Slime manages to get the shield on people just to take him time. Animal responds with his as well. Here comes a Meteor Strike right down on that poor, poor Supercharger. And Sabio will be following up with the 3K onto the Vancouver Titans. Man, the damage from the Meteor Strike was there, but then the Death Blossom. So to Garden of Death among the Vancouver Titans <laughs> lines. And a beautiful Garden of Death it was for the was NYXL. Indeed. They're coming back in, but they used a lot of ults on that fight. Take a look at the Titans. Gravitic Flux from Janu Sigma going to be available. They're a little bit behind on the Coalescence, though, but if they can pick up a lot of members from the XL, this is where you want to defend. If you're the team, the defending team. Long run back from spawn for the attackers, New York. Yep, pretty much. Here comes the Coalescence from the Titans now. Coalescence now from Jonak as well on their Moira. Dueling beams, we've seen a lot of them in the playoffs. Whoa. Oh, that's a hit and a miss, or swing and a miss rather from Janu. Soman Su trying to pick up the slack, but no, he only gets one. Might be enough for the Titans if Hawksall can complete these kills. It looks like he's gonna get some help, and New York turning it around. Libero again. Hawksall the back lines, but he's gotta be a one-man army, and it's just not enough. New York takes B. Yeah, you hate to see it, Doa, Woo. at this level of play when there's no flux given from the Sigma player. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, it was a weird flux, and it was not okay. <laughs> it was definitely not okay. Yep. You know, catching no one really, it limits the amount of crowd control you're going to get, and obviously the damage as well. But critically for NYXL, their Moira and two damage dealers stay alive, so they just collapse on that cart. Well, here we go, Gravitic Flux now from Mecco. Just to toss in the rock at the end of that save will be down, though. As the Meteor Strike comes in from Hawks on the back lines, he's got, like, no help left. Finally gets a little bit from the help back. Needs to do more, though. No, he's back to spawn as Libero picks up another kill. And New York looking pretty unstoppable here. Pushed off the payload for the moment, but they are pushing again with Ernest. They've got the Coalescence to follow up with. That's a lot of damage. Now Libero going in. Here comes the Meteor Strike yet again. Just zoning a little bit. Goes out. A halt leads to a kill onto TZ. And Libero has just been lighting up the Titans in this round. It's been crazy. Sabio will be getting in the back lines now. 
using that ultimate. Now they've got the sound barrier to keep everybody on New York safe. And they get someone to the back lines here. They've only got to push it a little bit farther. Mono needs to be careful right now. Needs to get back to his teammate. Does get a little bit of healing. Some ensue. Be the latest casualty on the side of the tight. Oh, Slime, who manages to slide away in the nick of time. Supercharger under threat. Sable B has a ray form on before he gets it. Libero, meanwhile, gets another kill on the Hawksaw. And one on the Slime. Libero has been owning on this Doomfist. His positioning, his mechanics, crazy. And now with another coalescence from Jonak, New York pushing forward one more time. This should be it, unless the Titans can should clutch be. it out right should now. Be. They should finally be able to crack this defense by the spot. I mean, that meter strike might have been a celebration fireworks for New York, as now they just have to pick up a couple more strikes. Oh, he missed! To end this one, but that rocket punch, it did not connect. And now Sovensu coming back in again. Oh, no. The Titans turning it around. Goodbye, Mono. And it was so close. But New York couldn't quite seal the deal. They couldn't. Janu switched back over to the Wrecking Ball in order to stall. But critically, Watch. Oxal found the pickoff onto Anamo. NYXL used everything that they had. But as we saw some swaps, Vancouver Titans, when they switch heroes, do reset their ultimate meters. Yeah. So Janu now back down to 0% on that Sigma. That was so clutch. In the end by Janu with the swap. And now New York. They've still got 2.45 left in the clock, which is kind of crazy. It shows you just how good their time bank was. Yeah, they got the coalescence to push in right here. A couple opportunities. Don't if I want to push up to the seconds. supercharger. Yeah, moving forward now on the back of that coalescence. Save will be trying to build up to his ultimate as well. Here we go. Now the coalescence from the Titans as they try to just delay. And the aggression from Hawksaw comes in. Trying to get the back lines a little bit. The Doomfist dueling on the point. While we watch Sabiolbi take the high ground. He's gonna jump down from on high. Get in the back lines. He's gotta contend with the shield. He's gonna try to burn it away with his Death Blossom. Does some damage, but no kills. Hoxall does get a crucial one on the Libero, though. And there goes Teezy. Sabiolbi leading the charge. Meteor Strike not doing enough for the Titans. And it's a last resort. That's another Graviton or Gravitic Surge, too, for Mecho that didn't hit anything. He got kills out of it or kills out of the following damage anyway. And it looks like that might be enough. Mecco with another switch. Or that's TZ now on the Wrecking Ball. Mecco just clutched that out, Doa. Yep. They had lost their damage dealers if they did not oh, get goodbye. those kills. Goodbye, says Libero. That's it. That's right. Finally, NYXL will finish King's Row. But it took probably, a, I don't know, about a minute and a half longer than they would have liked. And if it hadn't been that crazy clutch by Mecco there, it would have been a very different story. Main tank in the corner pocket and New York Managed to take three points. We'll see what Vancouver can do on their attack in just a moment. Support your team with the official Overwatch League Coca-Cola bottles at CokeStore.com. Ships to all 50 U.S. states, Washington, D.C., and U.S. P.O. boxes. New York Excelsior with a respectable time in the time bank as they take their three points on their King's Row attack. 144 for them. Workable, but the thing is, is that we, we expect the Vancouver Titans to be better on their attack rounds than on their defense rounds. A lot of what we saw in that control map was 
a uh, good job by the Titans when they were dealing with choke points in the NYXL and, and playing aggressively as the NYXL tried to filter through those chokes. Now, that's a lot harder to do um, if you lose the wrong team fights because the payload keeps moving so you can fight anywhere along that course that the payload rolls. And if you lose the right fight, then you can't respawn in time to fight them at the choke point in the same way. So sometimes you have to take fights in more open ground. And I think that's where the Titans really uh, didn't do very well. Well, I mean, Libero is just owning Hawks on the 1v1 over and over again. Sadly. No Omnix allowed in that bookstore? Why would you not allow Omnix <laughs> at a bookstore? That's it's like, oh no, we don't want them to gain any more knowledge to enslave humanity or something. I mean, why would they even need to read books? They can just download the information. Yeah, exactly. That's a thoroughly unnecessary sign. <laughs> why would, why would there I'm be disappointed? Why would there be an Omnic at a bookstore? Who knows? Maybe he works in the bookstore. <gasps> That's true. It's possible. Not that bookstore. Is that, definitely not that one. Other bookstores. <laughs> Better bookstores. <laughs> New York Excels here on the defense. Going for the same composition. No Bastion spotted as of yet. And we'll see what the Vancouver Titans can do on their attack. On the Spitfire logo. Probably courtesy of uh, TZ. Yep, <laughs> that's right. Thought you cut me? Oh, well, look where I am now, guys. That's where you are. Huh. I like it. I like the manners. All right. Style. Style is there. So we do see first poke damage going down from both of these teams. Uh, wow, NYXL playing very aggressively, just going uh, in. Yeah, they almost gave Summon Sue a beautiful flank, though, too. They might have been trying to bait him in. Either way, neither team did not the kill just yet, although Libero a little bit low, got some shield. Summon Sue just putting out a lot of damage from the side, and now Vancouver Titans just steamrolling their way right through. They're on the point. Going to be a high ground attempt. Twilight gets some healing in. There's an early coalescence. Actually, both Moira's get theirs at about the same time. Gotta keep TZ and the Doom Pistol alive though. And they're getting a little bit low. New York coming back. Libero with that Meteor Strike. Oh, oh the Halt! The Halt brought in a 2K opportunity for the New York Doom Fist. And that is gonna send the Titans right back to spawn. Yeah, right there we saw Summon Sue use that Shadow Step onto the high ground to try and get behind the XL formation. But. You know, that really wasn't necessary, Doa, uh, because all he needs to do is push them off the point and threaten around that corner. Good so I don't, I don't think that's the best play coming in from the Titans. And instead, we saw on the other side, Sebiobi get around the flank and then combine with the Meteor Strike in order to pick up the kills yeah, onto the Titans. Yeah, that would have been a 3K if Soman Su didn't have a great form up. That was like just a great hold for Bono. All right, Gravitic Flux brings a couple up in the air. They've got the shield, though. Animo, meanwhile, goes down, and now the Titans are looking pretty good, and Animo dying with his ultimate up did not do the New York Excelsior any favors. Looks like that payload's gonna be rolling shortly. Hawksall with the big opening pickoff there makes the difference for the Vancouver Titans. Takes out the support with the, the ultimate, and that means there's not enough protection. It also means the Titans are able to save their Gravitic Flux. They don't have to use it in that engagement. Tells you're coming back with a lot of ults though, critical ones as well. Support ults to give the healing or the shields in the case of the Lucio ultimate, as well as that supercharger. Yeah, New York's gonna be looking for a forward defense here. You can stop the payload here, even if you eventually lose a team fight, you still guarantee yourself at least one more fight on B. Yeah, this is perfect for the XL though, because they have a choke point that they can play with the supercharger and the coalescence in. Exactly. All right, the big flux gets used. Three up in the air. Fortify gets used. There's the sound barrier now from Animo, keeps everybody safe. Who has to back away the Vancouver Titans giving New York a little bit more ground they're regrouping They're happy to at least get the sound barrier out and notice that they made that trade intentionally without using the supercharger So right. good heads up play there by the Titans Coalescence now and there's a supercharger from TZ. Hawks on the back lines again. Oh, he dodges a rock Nice meteor strike to do just that. Soman Sue comes in with the Death Blossom and Hawksall comes down for another 2K. Titans trying to keep that payload moving and it looks like they will. This ult economy has been beautiful from the Titans. I mean, they are so calculated when they come into these engagements. They know what's gonna happen. Notice how they engage. They come in with Janu. Go ahead and use that Gravitic Flux, which forces the sound barrier. XL overcommits by using a supercharger. Titans back off while the sound barrier and the supercharger of their opponents are going away. Then they re-engage with the supercharger of their own. That that is exactly how you want to sequence the ultimates if you are the Titans in that scenario. Yep. That's right. Now New York getting bounced around, jostled a little bit as the Titans come rocking in with their sound barrier. Oh, nice kill on the Mecco. That's huge. Libero falls as well. 
Oxo with another great position coming in on the mono, and that wasn't even really a fight. That was just a slaughter. Well, what are you gonna do? The XL committed all of their ultimates to that last defense, and Titans, they just held that sound barrier in their back pocket, knowing that there was gonna be nothing the Excelsior could do to deal with that. So this has been just a wonderful snowball of ult economy that we've seen on the side of Vancouver. Yeah, now approaching point C. They're in there with four minutes in the time bank. Crazy advantage if they can complete this one. And we talked about this too, that their strength is gonna be their attack run. They've certainly shown that so far. A big surge comes in. Do they get any kills? Johnny down. That's a big one for Mecco, and they're gonna send the Reaper into the back lines as well. And it looks like Vancouver oh, the finally gonna be going back yeah. to spawn and that coalescence. You know, it did help them pick up an exit kill, I suppose, but you probably want to hold on to that one. I mean, the lucky thing is the Titans also committed their coalescence to that last engagement. Sure. And XL, you'll notice Mecco actually dodged the rocket punch from Hoxall by using his ultimate to fly into the air. So the engage from Hoxall did nothing, and they're able to punish the backline by using the flux from oh. Mecco. Whoa, what a rocket punch from Libero! This lines it up perfectly hit. And now goes down another halt, brings in a kill on the slime. Libero and Mono have combined for so many kills that have turned into team fight wins. What a dynamic duo on this map. Also, I think you have to be slightly critical of Twilight's positioning. A couple of these fights, yeah, you know, they didn't lose that first point on control, but that was a that was a mispositioning from Twilight on that Moira. There again, he's very far forward, and they're not respecting Libero, who can come in at a right angle and take him out. Yeah, not sure if he had the bait or not, but definitely didn't use it there. Supercharger. Going after team. Twilight again. Yeah, they're going to try. He's targeting a little bit. Getting that Moira out of the way is huge. Now they get the Orisa out of the way instead. New York going to be happy with that one. Here comes the Meteor Strike, but it doesn't matter. Libero gets a kill in the Hawksall anyway in New York. Going to send the Titans back to spawn again. 2.30 on the clock, unless the Titans take this one fast. New York looking at maybe having a better time in the time bank. I don't think they can take it fast enough, though, with Doesn't the car rolling backwards to nearly to the start of point C. But that said, XL has no resources available to them. They're going to have to play more passively on this next defense. Yep. Uh, I'll bring some people into the damage there. Now Summon Zoo comes in with the Death Blossom, Twilight with the kill on the Jonex. So now the Titans getting three, and that's going to be enough to get this payload moving. But it's like you said, New York just didn't really comparatively have those tools. No, they had nothing to work with right there. So Titans, you know, they get good value out of that attack, though. Not using too many critical ultimates. And again, saving that sound barrier, which is often so important to being able to jam that payload into the next objective. A little bit delayed as Slime had to go back to uh, very teasy back to the fight on the Arisa. Died, now they're setting up again. As the Hulk comes in, oh, right into the Gravitic Surge, and that's gonna be a couple kills from New York. Oh, save you'll be, it's his turn. And New York pushing the Titans back again. It's a big reset on the side of the NYXL as they get all six members to complete the team kill. And if we come back, XL now firmly in the lead, about four ults up on this next to fight. Vancouver Titans are gonna be lucky to recover their ult economy by the time we head into OT in the next minute. That might have been the fight the XL needed to win King's Row. So and Sue loaded up, or Sibyl will be rather loaded up with the ultimate. It's held by your shotgun's thirst for the blood of Vancouver Titans. They back off a little bit. Now going forward with the Coalescence. Jonak down, big pick for Soman Zub, and here comes Tabuli in the back lines, gets one before he's taken out. Libero though following it up, two for two. It's gonna be New York with a slight numbers disadvantage here as they have to get some ground to the Titans, but only 45 seconds remaining. Onimo. Vancouver, and Onimo comes in with a bloodthirsty 2K. Vancouver having a lot of trouble getting the job done. And they couldn't push onto the payload because they didn't have the Orisa there. They tried to go aggressive, but Animo, out of all people on that low damage support, Lucio comes up with the Olympus. Do or die now for the Titans. Take a look at where they are. They've got Flux, that's something, but they're playing into that sound barrier. They must win the fight. Libero doesn't hit the rocket punch to begin things, doesn't hit the uppercut either. He's got the meteor strike to come down, waiting for it. Oh. There's the Hulk. Good damage on that one, but the shield saving some lives. That's said, Janu already down, and there goes everybody else. New York Excelsior, in the end, will hold, and they will tie up this series. Nobody touches the payload, and this could go the distance. Beautiful map from the NYXL, playing a little bit more aggressively right there, adapting to what we saw from the Titans and their aggressive play in map one, and that means we are all tied up heading into our first break. Yeah, wow. Thrilling match so far. This is everything I expected and more. Don't go anywhere, guys. We'll be back with more action right after this. You have watched me.
brought to you by T-Mobile. Now connecting 99% of Overwatch League fans. Catch your league on America's network. T-Mobile. State Farm. Whatever life brings your way, State Farm is here to help life go right. Xfinity. Xfinity X5 gives you the speed you need to game like a pro. And by Toyota, official North American partner of the Overwatch League. Toyota, let's go places. Did you see the game last night? Sinatra's gonna get MVP this year. There's no way Sinatra wins MVP. What are you talking about? Have you been watching the same Bumper game? has been so clutch for the Titans. Putting up insane numbers. I think you're both wrong. Jonak, still the MVP. Also, first match starts in an hour. See you there. The real MVP is the out of chat, Amon. It's number one versus number two, and this one is definitely living up to the hype. After the Titans took map one, it was the New York Excelsior staying strong on defense, taking King's Row and evening things up at one apiece. Hello, everybody. Welcome back into the Blizzard Arena. The final three days here in the Blizzard Arena, and tonight might be the best. We got the winner's bracket finals, number one versus number two, and these two are just trading blows. It's like watching a heavyweight fight. It's been so good. I mean, the expectations for this match were enormous. Always a possibility for New York to flop, like we saw in the pre-show, but they haven't done so far. Now, Joshua, we did see New York come out strong, right? They were the first team in the kill feed for our first map, but it was the Titans turning the fight and then taking the game. Walk us through, how did this happen? Yeah, it was such an unusual fight to open out Li Zhang. So I've got an insights powered by Intel, where I want to run you through really what happened and how the Titans recovered, because they look like they're absolutely composed to perfection. So look at this, the control point is about to unlock, and immediately what you're gonna see is a punch across the map coming out from Libro. Scores this first pick, Twilight's down. So the whole of the Vancouver Titans now have to retreat, and they're gonna find their way back outside. But as Twilight comes off the respawn with the control point about to unlock, that's when the Vancouver Titans recontest, push back in, and start a battle over the first point. You very, very rarely see this happen because with one player down, and look at how far away Twilight is, they lack so much healing. But thanks to some fantastic tank play, in particular, I want to point out this play here from Janu because as Mano puts his, uh, his shield down aggressively here, this shield from the Orisa, shield from the Sigma, really deep placements, but the rock comes 
out from Janu and pushes these guys back and changes the lines of battle completely. Now they're pushed all the way back to here. This shield totally useless for Mano, and he ends up going down as the first elimination, well, not the first elimination, the Doofus both trade for each other, but the first real big elimination is Mano going down here without his shield. And Janu does so much work, so much damage. Look at how much of his ult charge he's managed to gain. 75% compared to 38% up here. And despite the fact that Jornex Coalescence comes out earlier, with the power of the Vancouver tanks, they pressure forwards, take space, and even get a flux off towards the end of this fight to be able to make the Vancouver Titans take the point first. It's phenomenal pressure. Look how deep they've driven across the field, taking space early on, and then setting everybody up, mitigating the sound barrier for a big flux towards the end coming out from Janu. Just incredible composed play from the Vancouver Titans. That's the kind of thing that got them the map win early on. That's the reason that they're the number one seed and potential favorites for this tournament. I feel like we're seeing champion caliber play on both sides of the stage today, but Sully Brand walked me through Lijang Tower. There was a lot of teamwork, but also some individual plays that were the decider here. What did you see? Oh, absolutely. I mean, one name we have to mention, of course, has to be Haxel. Haxel played a phenomenal game on that Doomfist. At the very beginning on Lijang Tower, there was a little bit of trading back and forth, but honestly, Vancouver Titans started to really run away with it, and a lot of it was on the back of the insane aggression we saw from Haxel. He was all up in the front line, giving his team a lot of space to actually win over those team uh, fights, getting a lot of uh, kind of positioning on those points. Yeah, that's the deciding factor of this map one. It has to be the tank play, I think. New York Excelsior, uh, we saw, uh, honestly, it looked shaky. I was a little bit worried after this first map that we were going to see New York just crumble again like they usually do in playoffs because Mecco was having some very uh, uncharac uh, uncharacteristic kind of plays happening where he was kind of whiffing a few ultimates. He's not known for this. I picked this guy up in the pre-show because consistency has always been his game. But today it was a little bit off. But it was where we went to the second map where we really started to see the game just take off a whole nother level and where I, I felt a lot more comfortable in the way New York would play. Speaking of that second map, it was King's Row. And if you're a Titans fan, you know this squad didn't drop a King's Row all regular season, right? Stage one, two, three, four, perfect on this map. In the playoffs, it's starting to become an issue because New York they held strong on their defense. What a ridiculous game from the throw this was. It, it, this entire package the pilots you're about to witness was tried to be 50-50 with Haxel and Libero. We attempted to make it unbiased, <laughs> but it was just not possible because Libero was just that good. And this was a, such an interesting game between the two Doomvers that we need to just really point out because a lot of the times, sometimes they go for the counter punches, they try and counter one another. This time, Libero was making plays in the back line. He's not known to be a flashy player, not known to be explosive, but today he was carrying his team on his back. I just want to reiterate what Monty said at the very uh, tail end of that cast, which is just the change uh, and the adaptation New York Excelsior made for the second map. In the first one, it was Vancouver bringing the aggression, and New York kind of had to walk backwards really in most of those engagements. Here, quite the opposite. They were the aggressor. They were actually deciding the pacing of those engagements, and that is really what gave them the upper hand, because in this current meta, that is what you have to do. You have to be aggressive and decisive. you got to think how much comes this comes down to the map pool as well. They got the opportunity to pick a map that they're really comfortable with. They know how it plays. I think we're in for a very back and forth series yep. as people take each other to the loser's pick. I think uh, people are going to look back on this series here as, as one that could have potentially been a Grand Finals and it still could be our yeah, Grand Finals. Yeah. Remember that. The loser of this could still go on a run all the way to the Grand Finals as well. So this is how crazy and how high of a level these teams are playing at right now. It's astounding. Well, this desk thought it was going to be the Vancouver Titans as the stronger team coming in today. After two games, how are we feeling about this match? I'm expecting a map seven. Do you still think Vancouver will be the winners? I, I, I here's the thing. I mean, I you didn't even make today. a decision. I didn't right? make a prediction. <laughs> I was split down the middle. And you might think, oh, it's a funny little bit by Brennan. I genuinely could not make a decision because I thought if I go Titans here, it's a bit disingenuous because I felt like New York could win it. This, this map is definitely going to be going the distance. I'm ready for it to go the distance. And I know a lot of fans in New York City are hoping that it's NYXL coming out on top. Josh, it's crunch time right now. You bombed out of the playoffs in 2018, but this is a new year. How do they get to Philly? Well, I pointed out in the pre-show that it's all about their captain, Sebi Orbi. This guy has really revitalized New York. They are clutch in the playoffs. They're making adaptations. 
they're not crumbling as much as it looks like that Li Zhang was it was giving me fear I'm not gonna lie <laughs> but they came back on King's Row and they really look retooled look at that win rate when Sabi Orbi's in the lineup compared to when he's outside of the lineup this guy even though he doesn't always put up the flashy plays and he's certainly capable of it is so integral to this team's success I just love that uh, coming into this meta we weren't really sure how much of Sabi Orbi we will see because he is not necessarily known for playing that Reaper but he's taken to it wonderfully he's actually really really doing the work on that hero yeah I think it's important to just add on to this as well and just say the impact that Sabi Orbi has you might not see him in a kill feed but his impact goes beyond that. It's going to be in his calling. It's going to be in his presence on that stage as an individual. So a final question here. We've got plenty more games to go, but in this game three, it's Vancouver's pick. Who are our players to watch in your eyes? Oof. I I think we're going to keep our eyes once again on those Doomfists. They have been the big playmakers and of course the Sigmas. Uh, it's so hard to say that, honestly. Like, just watch out for everyone. Watch them all, guys. You've got the best of the planet, the best Overwatch players on the planet going toe to toe, 6v6. And we got another round coming your way after the break. The Overwatch League is brought to you by Cheez It Grooves. Deep flavor, deep crunch. It's a mind crunch. Welcome back, everybody. It's a tie series right now between the NYXL and the Vancouver Titans. Couldn't ask for anything more. It's delivering, that's for sure. Or could you? Uh, what, what, what could I ask for, Della? I don't know. If you were me, <laughs> you might ask for something like the Bloodthirsty Support of the Week. That's right, it's time. <laughs> and we got a great one. It's Moth. He may not look bloodthirsty, but you won't want to meet him in a dark alley in Rialto. Look at that, taken out. Gator, he's going swimming, but he's not the swimming kind of gator. He's a drowning kind of gator. No, you're back for more. You should have left the ledge when you had a chance, because now you're all dead. It's a 4K booptacular from Moth, and that is why he is Doa's bloodthirsty support of the week. You know, Doa, you might like bloodthirsty supports. And that was that was a pretty good one. That was a pretty good one. It was. He came back off. around for two boops, just making came the back circuit. Seconds. He tasted it. He's like. Mm. <laughs> Good bless other sports. I mean, you like it when supports get killed. Personally, I, no, I like it when supports get bodied. You had that back. Ah, oh, I messed it up. Yeah, well, I, I like it when supports get <laughs> killed. Kills. I like, like it, it when they get killed. This is what happens when we don't plan. Yeah, exactly. But speaking of supports getting killed, let's take a look at Slime getting his ult denied in that last match <laughs> on King's Row. Because yeah. there was a really good play. Uh, the desk was talking about Libero there during our break. And, you know, this is one of the, the key plays they have. Because look at that. You see the Gravitic Flux coming in. Slime is going to go for that ult 
sentiment, but guess who is nope. there? <laughs> waiting, waiting, lurking in the shadows. You know, I don't like it when supports get killed, but that was kind of funny. It I, was great. I did, I did enjoy that. And it was a huge moment, too. If we compare these uh, two DPS Doomfist extraordinaires. Very close, actually. Yeah, very tight so far between these. And, and that makes sense. We saw Hawksall be so successful in that first map. And then in King's Row, it was pretty much all Libero. Yeah, and we also have to circle back around. You know, after map number one, we looked at the Sigma players when it came to Mecco and Janu. And in that map, actually, we saw Janu get zero Gravitic Clux kills on King's Row. Yeah. That's not good. And, you know, to their credit, NYXL, when they're not being forced to play in those chokes, they know when that Sigma ultimate is up, and they're doing an excellent job of spreading out or saving their cooldowns. Remember that things like Fortify can drop you out of that ultimate. Wraithform can get you out of that ultimate. Fade can get you out of that ultimate. Very true. There's a lot of heroes that can escape it these days. Now, we are going on to our Assault map. It's going to be Temple of Anubis, selected by the Vancouver Titans. No surprise. Uh, this is a map that we saw them do very well on. Uh, in the playoffs so far has been one of their best maps throughout the year. Now, part of that was because sometimes they put Hoxall in his signature Genji uh, this season. They're not going to do that here, but when it comes to playing around point A especially, playing around the verticality, Doomfist offers that same level of mobility as a Genji, and the Titans are just spectacular on offense on this map. That's right. So, New York on the defense first, and uh, we'll see if the more defensive play from New York can carry them through here. Libero on the May for now, which is a little bit interesting. We do see players swap back and forth. Libero has been playing May for like three or four years at the pro level now. And you know, to me, Dola, this says that they're not really playing for point A. They're playing for point B. You want to charge up that blizzard and have a mechanic to stop any snowballing that's going to happen because taking point B with a blizzard is really difficult. Could definitely be the case, yeah. Now, there's no high ground to quickly jump to. Uh, the bay wall's much more effective in those narrow choke points. So I think right now, if you're an NYXL fan, if they lose this point pretty quickly, it may not be the end of the world. Right, but they need to lose it while Libero gets a lot of charge to his blizzard, too. If they lose it and he dies first or something, that is that is rough. They will. Oh, now, whoa, that works out so much, too. Just carved off, set back to spawn. Now Libero getting a lot of piercing, freezing, done, slowing down the members of the Titans. TZ really low. There goes Hoxall as well. In just a moment, yep, Savioli finishes him off. He was low health, couldn't make it out. And Savioli manages to come back in time to pick up a couple of kills at the end of the fight even. Yeah, not sure about that attack from the Titans because if you're playing against the Mei, you don't necessarily want to go through that choke point. Very yeah. easy to divide the enemy team as they're walking through. Remember your tanks uh, in the meta right now. If you're playing that Arisa and Sigma, low mobility. You know, they're not going to be able to, like a Diva or Winston, get over that wall. This is kind of May's playground, right? If you have a bunch of these... A May ground, chokes. if you will. It's a May ground, exactly. A bunch <laughs> of chokes. We can just split up the team and they're going to do it again. Oh, Ooh. Mecco! Mecco gets the pick on the slime as Vancouver tries to get through the door. And, well, that's that's the push right there. Now you got to wait for your Lucio to come back. Yeah, they're going to try and take out Somatsu. Somatsu was on a flank right there, but his rate form is going to dodge. Oh, go. the rocket oh. dodge, but not the hyperspheres. Oh, you can't do that if you're Somatsu. No. You just staggered yourself. He was trying around on the flank, and the wraith form isn't long enough to get back to you, back to your team. That's like that's a that's a big unforced error there from the Vancouver Titans. That's going to cost them, you know, 15, 20 seconds on the clock. You know, I guess maybe they thought they could cause a bit of a distraction to allow time for Slime to get back while the team was waiting, but it just kind of created a longer wait for them now. Yeah, now this defense that we were talking about, uh, looking good for the NYXL. They get the coalescence through, but Twilight already down. Vancouver Titans losing out on a big one on the defense. Twilight did not get a lot of his ultimate done, but now they're going to charge right back in, and New York getting the kills. Echo finishes off Solomon Sue and the Titans not able to get anything done. Twilight dying really early in that fight. And the value, Doa, they just had to use Coalescence. They're coming yep. up on five ults right now. This Great. is looking like a disaster for the Titans. Sam, will be here hiding behind Omnic corpses and then taking oh. out Twilight oh, right no. as that Coalescence starts. So brutal, they can't play through that choke point against a Maywall and an enemy Coalescence. Yeah, it takes away the even fight that. Oh, oh boy. They have. There's a flux and there's the Death Blossom spiraling from the heavens to send the Titans back in the cleanest team fight I have seen in a long time and, and now only a minute remains for the Titans on their attack and again the value from the XL they save sound barrier and blizzard if they're forced back to the point and the Vancouver Titans have to touch because it's an overtime these are exactly the ultimates you want so the yep. economy 
absolutely fantastic now for the Excelsior. Lots of ults for the Titans, though. They got tons to work with. Are they gonna use the Blizzard? There's the uh, Ice Block to make sure it doesn't get denied. Mecha with the kill on the already. And so many freezes coming through. The sound barrier for Slime accomplishes nothing. Oh no, and they use the Supercharger. Why would what? you drop that? Okay, maybe they can make it work. I, it's gonna be a well, stall here. Yes, they well, can. Great punch from Hoxall. Hoxall, the DPS trying to turn this one around. So who gets to kill the safety as well. There was Ooh. no way I thought the Titans were gonna be able to finish that fight with a win, but that is called a DPS hard carry. That is exactly what that was. Uh, Hoxall and Somensu turned that around because it looked like it could have been a disaster. And with only about 15 seconds remaining, the Vancouver Titans will get a new lease on life and the chance to take B. But they might be able to snowball it. Johnny is gonna have that flux. Let's take a look at this. Hoxall with a 3K, because this was looking terrible. But Mono, he's gonna fall gets uh, uppercutted onto the high ground, and then they're able to coordinate onto the May with a quick kill. Meteor Strike over to take out Sampi Olby. Hoxhall comes in with the clutch play. You know, you gotta just look at New York and say they got a little bit over eager there. They started letting members of their team kind of fly around and split up, and the Vancouver Titans DPS players definitely taking advantage of that. Now the fight beginning on point B here. Soman Su does have the Death Blossom ready to go find himself in a hallway with a bunch of members of Excelsior. Oh, Mecco does get the kill on the Hawksaw. That is something tearing it up for New York. Soman Su backs away, but they are ready for him. Oh, but he's ready for them. One more kill is a parting gift before he goes back to join his team. But New York crucially gets that first hold on B. I, Janu, I don't think he hit anybody with that flux again. So far in this match, he has zero final blows, zero flux kills, and zero accretion kills. So, you know, we saw that Sigma go very heavily in the in the Titans' favor on map one, but Janu has not showed up ever since then. All right. Uh, I got stunned. Oh, no, 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 not yet. yet. There we go. And ah, everybody just fades out. Power, but yeah, you just get out of it. That's the thing with this composition. Sigma is so good, but it's also really easy for enemies to get out of your own thing. Right. So the zoom down already. Sable he comes in with a very effective Death Blossom. That is two. Going for another one on to Janu, and he will take that. He's not done yet. Fortify comes in from TZ, but he's not going to survive. Four, five. They get five kills for Sable B. And it's only going to be Slime escaping with his life. Janu's got to step up, man. It's seven flux kills right now for Mecco. Zero still for Janu. And credit to the to the XL because they're just scattering. They know exactly when Janu has that ultimate, and they're not giving him many opportunities. But they've got to coordinate better and make sure that the XL commit to the defense before they try and pop the signal ult. Yep. Titans come around. We see what they can do. All right, supercharge the Libero from the back. Nice rocket punch to finish off Slime. Beautiful play there. Denies the ability to use that ultimate. No shields and NYXL again. The defense from Excelsior has just looked unbeatable so far in these last two maps. Yeah, they've looked good. Lots used though. That last one, not too much actually. Coming in with the supercharger. Pretty and good. They've still got strike. the sound barrier. Yeah, Vancouver Titans, though, this might be the last push that they get. Fortunately for them, economy push has looked pretty good. They're going to be coming back with both of their support ults online. But XL might be able to get that coalescence up before the Titans actually approach the point. That is uh -oh. huge! How did XL die to the Lucio? I don't know, man. He died with his ultimate up. Somehow he got back there. Now New York getting aggressive to try to capitalize on that. That is the opposite of what you normally see uh, when Hoxall approaches a Lucio. That's crazy. They got, they gave Jonak the time to get the Coalescence and Mecco to get the Flux now. So the advantage, the window, oh, that's really not good. Uh, that's seconds. good though. And uh, TC gets a kill on the Libero. That's a big pick. As the Vancouver Titans push forward to try to get something done, but they're gonna need to do it in OT. Sound barrier now for New York Excelsior. Mecco loaded up with the Flux. We'll see if he uses it. Yes, he down. gets three. Flux, yeah, does get three. Does he get any kills off of it? No, not quite yet. Accretion comes through. Animo does get the kill on the Hawksaw. So there's one back for New York as the respawns come in. Vancouver Titans sticking on the point, but they have yet to get a single tick. And they haven't taken out the tank yet, so still a lot of presence. Oh, the only going to no. take out the big healer, Twilight. Ah, oh, look at that. Nobody from Titans back on the point now. How are they going to survive? It has to be an incredible flux from John, who he gets mono, but that it will all be, well, that will be all he gets. As the Titans try to turn it around, even numbers on the point right now. The Titans trying to push New York off just long enough. If they could only get a single tick, it would be worth it. They're not going to, Doha. I don't think so. 
It's just less and less members of the Titans around to contest as respawns come in. That said, they manage to keep it fairly even. It's a competitive fight right now from the Titans, and they're getting close to a few more ultimates. If Slime gets the sound barrier, if Tizzy They lives, can't kill Tizzy! The, oh, they can't kill him! The sound barrier! It happened! The barrier came in, and now Soman's new following up on the damage from Hawks on Twilight, and they may actually get the job done! They might. Sound barrier only on Onimo, so not a high value. Let's see if the stall can come in, but there's only that Lucio on the point right now. They're going to have to give up two ticks, but can they change over? You're going to see Mecco move over to the Reinhardt, stall out now for the XL. The impossible has happened. They put themselves in a position to actually take point B. Jonak down again. Hawksaw comes in, tries to get the go-ahead. Meteor Strike, who's he going to land on? Just lands on the middle of the... Arena, I guess, yeah. Get that rocket punch onto Libero. Now he's got to deal with a Roadhog. Soman Zoo picking up the kills that Hawksall can't right now. And they're still so close. 95.8%. And it's going to grow from there. New York was so close to fully denying point B. But in the end, the Vancouver Titans do Oof. it in overtime. Deep, deep in overtime. Vancouver triumphs. What an epic clutch from the Titans. That sound barrier came in at exactly the right time. The Coalescence came in at exactly the right time. If TZ fell, that would have been it. But yeah. they commit their support ults, help him stay alive, and they just get that player advantage on the point. That was so close. Was but the Titans managed to get it done. TZ at 50 health. What more are we going to see, guys? Don't go anywhere. It's only going to get more exciting in just a moment. Support your team with the official Overwatch League Coca-Cola bottles at CokeStore.com. Ships to all 50 U.S. states, Washington, D.C., and U.S. P.O. boxes. Welcome to Assist of the Week, presented by State Farm. The Titans were all tied up against the Soul Dynasty on Map 3, trying to hold out on Horizon Lunar Colony against the Titans' attack. The Dynasty pushed up the ramp and tried to cut off the Titans, but Haxall boosted Twilight over to join the support, and with Slime, Janu, and Teezy pitching in, Sobensu opened up on Bastion and ripped through the entire Dynasty team. Against all odds, the Vancouver Titans have gotten themselves two points on Temple of Anubis. We did not think it was going to happen, but clutch moves right at the end. TZ barely staying alive. Slime barely getting his sound barrier in time. And New York is kind of collapsing a little bit. Yeah, it was. I mean, we know Vancouver Titans have been such a clutch team throughout the season. If you get their backs up against the wall, they can sometimes pull out amazing things. We saw it again right there. But uh, they finished in overtime, which means that yeah, they don't have any time on the clock right now. If NYXL can finish with more than a minute in time bank, there is not going to be another attack round yeah. for the Titans. And Very true. frankly, with how dominant the XL were on that defense, uh, and because the Titans, we generally think that of them as a better offensive team than defensive team, might be problematic. So NYXL, they do have to finish the map, but it was 43 to 24 eliminations in favor of the XL, and uh, they nearly full held them. Yeah. Nearly full held him on A and B, honestly. Yeah. So, tough stuff. 
right now, but Vancouver Titans still with a good opportunity to win this map with a strong defense. Looks like they might try the trick where you teleport the Widowmaker yep. up to a spot early to get a, a quick pick. Why not? You might yeah. as well just go for it. You can always switch off the comp back into spawn. True. Uh, looks like they might swap uh, Okay. Oh, oh all right. Libero, uh, over on the Sombra, you know, you and I were actually talking about this. You were saying that you felt Sombra was underutilized. Well, she is. She will be underutilized as they're swapping again to the uh, main Bastion, I guess. I think she's underutilized again with Bastion <laughs> in particular. We sure. saw some of that from the Shock uh, yesterday. But they are going to go back to the Bastion compositions that have done very well for the NYXL throughout these playoffs. And why not? Yeah. So what they're going to do is they're going to rotate through this corridor. Hoxel does not get the pick off in the choke. So now they're going to be able to set up here and just push them off the high ground by putting Save the OB in the turret mode. Uh, that's a lot of damage coming through that Bastion. They wall up, try to trap the Titans against it. They're going to have to drop. You have to give up the high ground when the Bastion's up there like that. Now you have full control over the uh, field of view on this point now with your Bastion. They're going to have to hide and the Hulk's going to pull them Easy. out, get them low. Easy, down to like no health again. And that Bastion certainly making his presence felt. Now you just jump on the point, you make them come to you. Yep, Sigma on the high ground, providing the barrier for the Bastion. Mono putting pressure on the point with the Orisa barrier. And yeah, he's gonna burn through that Sigma barrier so fast. You can see it's only 1,500 health. That Bastion will eat that thing for lunch. I'm talking about light lunch. Coalescence comes out. And that Ammatrix is behind the Bastion. That's not gonna help out. He's <laughs> oh, gonna move. There okay. we go, all right, yep. A little bit better there. Should still get that damage. <laughs> and they're getting the kills. There we go, finally, New York. Picking it up, and I would say pretty well executed. Trying to find, there we go. It's like, where's that coming from? That slight annoyance. I hear the sound of sound bullets. That's nice. It's just slime. <laughs> just slime. It's just slime. Now he's going to be uh, that guy who died and then was reincarnated as slime. <laughs> Overwatch is an anime. No, definitely not. Yeah, well, I don't know. Have people seen you wear your dress today? Yeah, that's because it's not. <laughs> We'll this see. is the symbol of it we'll not see. being an anime. I'm not convinced. <laughs> we'll see about that. NYXL, quick point A, five minutes for point B to get the job done with a minute in the time bank. If they can do that, they will deny the Titans a, t a chance to attack again here on Temple of Anubis. Big attack coming in. Barriers again. Blizzard ready. This is huge. Yeah, they've given up the Bastion in favor of the uh, Reaper now. Makes sense for this point. A little bit more close corners. That's right. It's a Blizzard from on high. Nobody needs that one. Libero getting the freezes. Everyone kind of escaping it, but easy. Not so lucky. There goes the Supercharger. And New York Excelsior dominating in this first attack here on point B. They want to get to the finals. They can taste it right now, and look at that! 420 on the clock for NYXL in a blazing, dare I say, attack round. <laughs> Very fast indeed, I agree, Doe, blazingly fast. That was a blazing 420 time bank <laughs> for NYXL. And we're gonna go straight into time bank. Now remember, NYXL, they now have that four minutes and 20 seconds to take one tick on A. And with their Bastion Cop, they can just do it. Maybe I'll be maybe preemptively celebrating a bit right there. A lot of NYXL players standing <laughs> up. Chair, yeah. So one thing to know, though, uh, about these Bastion comps is the Titans have really not played against Bastion at all in the playoffs because Fair on enough. their two uh, two matches that they've played so far, they've only had 11 team fights in total when they played against the Gladiators in the Dynasty against Bastion. 10 of those came against the Gladiators. And again, in those 10 team fights, they only won three. So they have a 30% team fight win rate against that Bastion. So that was a real concern for me coming into this match for the Titans is that they've had limited playtime against Bastion. And even in those small number of team fights, they have not done well. So well, they continue to not do so well as New York just rolled over them. And now the Titans find themselves in a situation where they cannot allow a single tick to be taken off point A for if they do. New York Excelsior will take the lead in this series. YXL coming in now. Just a little bit of scout here, I think, from the Sombra. They are going to see a May this time, so perhaps a different strategy resulting. Yep, going back again for the swap. Going to be Doomfist Reaper this time. Yeah. A little bit of extra mobility just to make sure you can get around that enemy May wall. Are they going to go into the May choke? That could be a bit risky. You try and take the low ground here. We'll see. A nice split. Yeah, Halt's gonna come in and then 
Wall's gonna split them, so the, they're caught three and three on the other side of that door right now. They're, yes, they're gonna take the other way. This is definitely how you should approach this against the May. A lot safer. I mean, you can still get May walled like that, but at least you've got a corner to hide around and they have to come to you more. Yep, you will be able to shadow step right up to your teammates, and now the Titans are in a bit of trouble. Yep, because you can't stop them from getting on the point, and they're gonna drop down Get that present. Someone's who can hide in that corner. Oh, that could be big. If somebody drops out in front of him, they're gonna somebody see him. like, say the Arisa, Someone Sue, he has to rape away. Force the get bait. a lot of damage done. Yeah. Now you have to retake with the May. That's always rough, because you want them to walk into you for the May wall. Ideally. Bro coming down, rocket punch loaded up. No fortify, gets stunned though, gets out. Anti-heal. Anti-heal, 34 HP, he's got to wait it out. Now we can go get some more healing. There goes Shanu, New York, with the first kill in this fight. And they are so close to taking point A and taking the map. Jonak finishes off slime, and unless someone Nano. can bring it back with this nano boost. Oh, but it gets absorbed. The kinetic crafts from Mecco making the difference. Zomans who threatening, but not enough. And that will That's be it. New York taking the lead in this series. And remember, Joa, the Titans picked this map. This is historically a fantastic map for the Titans. Yeah. And they were dominated. I mean, there's not really a way to say it. Like, yeah, they forced time bank, but it was just barely. They barely got off a of point A. Excel finished with four minutes and 20 seconds in that time bank. And then they easily take it on their first push. XL looking oh, fantastic. So he feels like, can I, can I get him now? No, not yet. There's more maps to play before you make it to Philly. Don't go near it, guys. That fourth map coming up after this. The Overwatch League is powered by Intel. Game, record, stream without compromise on Intel Core i7. Omen, the official PC and display of the Overwatch League. And by Zipchair Gaming, the official chair supplier of the Overwatch League. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, hello. My check, my check. Gang, gang. Yeah! Hello? Oh my god, right. You're so you guys hard. are you guys are doing great. Ah. Uh... Long time no see guys. Long time no see bro. Right. Peter, how does it feel to be back on the Overwatch League stage, buddy? Feels nice, man, you know. Yeah. Let's go! Who said that? Me. Who? Me! Oh! oh yeah. Ouchie. Yo, you have gum? I'm, I'm chill. Give me a gum. Give me a gum. Pass, pass it down. down. Pass the gum down. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Rising uppercut. I haven't had a prank one forever. Eh? 
Yo, Nevixion looking Hello. scrumptious today. Striker. Yeah? You're so handsome. I know. <laughs> if they... He's got really good ankle uh, muscles. When you come here, dude, we just wear extra pants. Wear, like, I wear two pet sweatpants underneath. Ah! Choi fighting! Choi! Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Choi fighting. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who is that? Oh, my God. I'm dead. I'm dead. I just want to get a glimpse behind the scenes, and I, I mostly <laughs> just watch this for gesture. I'll be honest. Sad he's, he's not he, in the league anymore at this point. Well, he's in the league. His team's not don't worry. in the tournament. Don't worry. Still on London Spitfire, but uh, yep, not no longer able this season, at least, to give us any more comms. That's right. Put down your Reddit threads. <laughs> you know what I mean. That's put right. Him, just put them down. Just put them all, all together. Down. Frankly, never, never pick them up again. Actually. Yeah, <laughs> leave them. Just leave anyway. Them. It's time to check in on a very important matchup in the series. It is the Sigma matchup between Mekko and Janu. When last we were with them, Janu was struggling a little bit in Gravitic Flux kills, and guess what? It still is. Yeah, and when we talked about this throughout the last map, but on Lee Jong Tower, it was Janu who is way ahead. But uh, across two maps, maps, excuse me, one Gravitic Flux kill on King's Row and Temple of Anubis. That is not not good. Janu, buddy, it's time to step up that Sigma play. It's so core right now. Looked like Mecco had a pretty big advantage coming in tonight, and uh, he, he struggled on the first map, but it's been all Mecco on our last couple. It's going to be tough, though, for New York to kind of keep this momentum rolling, because remember, this is a format where the loser picks the next map. So, I mean, I think at this point, if New York keeps winning, it just shows how incredibly dominant they actually are in this series. If you can keep beating your opponent on the map your opponent picks, that is crazy, especially when that opponent is Vancouver Titans. And especially when it's Temple of Anubis, right? Yeah. Uh, we are going to be heading to Watchpoint Gibraltar for our escort map. Another chance here for the Titans to pick a map that will ostensibly favor them. But they, I mean, the, that was much more one-sided on Anubis than King's Row was when the NYXL picked it. So right. NYXL fearless, you'd have to think right now. Titans, as we said, good on this map. Six and one on the season so far. New York not too far behind at four and two. Played it Attackers one last time. Will the Titans actually debut this Bastion here for Sun and Sue? Hmm. That'd be a bit interesting. We haven't really seen uh, much uh, of the Bastion from the Titans. They have played a little bit with Farah and May, but every time they play Bastion, they win under 50% of their team fights. So it hasn't been successful. We have seen some cool Bastion compositions, but it looks like we're not going to see one now. Someone's who back over to the Reaper. May Reaper. And there's May, okay. So we're turning back into the stage four meta slowly, Doa. Weirdly, slowly, in this match, a lot more May Reaper. And then to be aggressive defense here from the XL. They force the Ice Block from Hoxall right away. Wow, all right. Now Janu in a lot of trouble. Trying to absorb a little bit. Gets Janu up lives. Onimo down. Yeah, that kinetic grasp for John who saved his life big time. And now they can get aggressive. Someone's who down. But look at that. Another split off. That is an Orisa in some trouble. Mecco down to zero health again. And New York's defense collapsing very early. Yep. Only 30 seconds taken off here. And now it's just all about stalling that payload. All XL members are down. Libero will be on the Doom Fist. And XL will have to look. Now we've seen on Gibraltar many teams try that more aggressive defense right out of the spawn, which up until this point in Overwatch's competitive history, we've seen very little of. But considering the number of barriers, it is easier to survive there in the open at times. Yeah, very true. Titans coming back, Especially though. barriers that come back quickly, like these do. Libero looking for that angle. Sabi will be with the early oh, good angle. Ooh, that halt really helped set him up. He didn't quite get the killing rocket, but it was nice. That's a good rocket, actually, on the Soman Su. He's back to his team, though. At the last moment, New York's still on the back foot right now. Yeah, they got to back off away from that coalescence. Now's going to be the time to re-engage, but Hoxall has a blizzard, so watch for that. Everybody's ready. Still gets a rising uppercut, though. Comes out with the size big slam before he backs away. Now Sabi will be going for the flank with the death boss. If the blizzard is used by Vancouver, and it's enough to win a team fight. Oh, and Sabi will be comes in with a very, very late death boss of no kills from that. 
And I don't know if that's going to be a fight that New York can turn around. It's not. And that's going to be an ultimate that Sabiel definitely wishes he didn't use. I mean, when you have the Blizzard on the side of the Titans as well as the Supercharger, makes it really tough to go ahead and try and take that point, especially when Vancouver was able to snowball an ult advantage because of their decisive first team fight win. Yeah. XL not going to be swi switching anything up right now, but they'll have that Gravitic Flux. Johnny with the match right now. But the combo with the Meteor Strike, that's what's so dangerous. Indeed, here we go. Tomin Su really wants that ultimate. Gravitic Flux used indeed. Johnny gets one to Jonak. Support's falling on both sides. And now Tomin Su just trying to finish off Mono on his own. He does do just that. Liberal coming in to try to turn it around for New York, but no such luck as the Titans keep the payload moving and it is not really stopped yet. 18 to four eliminations for the Titans right now. So dominating on the first three team fights on this map. XL, they can't get the combo together. You want to use that flux, halt people together and then hit them with the meteor strike. When they drop, doesn't end up happening. Meteor strikes used late by Libero. XL gonna have a hard time here. They have a coalescence. Yeah. Might get a sound barrier, but that's about it. Summit two was waiting up on the ship and had to drop down. And here we go. It's gonna be a meter strike used by Hawksall. Where's he gonna land? Sound Find out. Sound barrier used by Anamo to keep everybody safe, to try to at least. Hawksall, no kills there. Halt comes in. Summon two still waiting for a chance to use that ultimate. Oh, he gets stuttering in the middle of it. Doesn't really get a lot of kills out of that. They've got the supercharger. Now Mecco in the back line. Genetic grass, but he's not gonna live. Yeah, that was a great punch to displace that Sigma. And the Titans continue to roll forward. And again, we see the DPS coming alive, finally. Janu's showing up on the kill feed. Yeah, lack of coordination so far from the XL. In spite of all those ults, Stoa, they got exactly... Oh, the split spawn. Zero eliminations in that last two games. So That's NYXL rough. still sitting at four kills on the entire map so far. And Titans not be going down easily today. I don't think so. I don't think anyone would expect this to be a one-sided match either way. Titans certainly not going to, or certainly looking rather, like they're not going to let New York get one win away from the Grand Finals. Sound Barrier is slime, pops it, they're coming in. And Vancouver Titans getting aggressive, they get a kill on the Mecco. I don't think New York, who's ready for that level of aggression, sound, or a Reaper ult, Save will be trying to push everyone back again. And the Halt nearly brings in Hawksaw a couple kills. He gets one anyway on Amato. Enough damage was done. Doomfist versus Doomfist. Libero takes the second punch. That's enough, and nobody there to even stop them. Whoa. That is a crazy push. 337 in the time bank for Vancouver. And guess what, Doa? Wow. Still no limbs at all on point C. 28 to 4, we end in favor of the Titans. So crushing attack round for the Titans. They did not lose a team fight in the whole map. Yep. Finally. You could almost say the, the Titans getting some room for their DPS players to work a little bit more, and it seems like the verticality that this map offers is really doing them a lot of good. Well, it's also, I think, the, the stunning lack of coordination we saw on the XL side. When they had a chance to stop the snowball and gain some ground, they, they just never really used their ultimates in a cohesive way in order to gain that advantage. And then they got a bit unlucky with things like the split spawn on the C that didn't right. allow them to really defend until the very end of the map. Well, it kind of reminds you a little bit of uh, what happened back on Lijiang Tower, where New York would sometimes find themselves in a little advantage situations, but just weren't pushing it through to a team fight win. Now, of course, that was very different on maps two and three, but uh, that problem uh, seems to kind of be rearing its ugly head again here in Gibraltar. Yeah, we'll see how fast NYXL is going to be able to move on their attack round. It will be very difficult to match that time, but th strange things could happen. <laughs> on some of these escort oh, maps. Really? In, in Time Bank especially, yeah. uh, we've seen some really big pushes, obviously, in that overtime. And saw one yesterday. Yeah, crazy one yesterday. <laughs> yeah. You never know. I mean, you never know because it's Overwatch, but you also you double never know because it's the playoffs. And I'm not saying it's like a double negative where you do actually know. I'm just saying you don't know twice as much. <laughs> You're twice as ignorant as you think you are. That's right. Just probably generally true in life. <laughs> Well, you say that all the time to various people. Never me, but... On Twitter, especially. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's usually the main place, main arena. Hawksall, early ice block. Trying to stop New York from pushing here, but he's a little bit vulnerable. Gets the sand behind their reset. Now he's got his wall up again. Nice halt to bring people in. 
and he's really just getting a lot of slows in there, getting really annoying with the damage and trying to build up that blizzard. No kills just yet, though. Slime, actually, the one who falls first. And so, despite, despite the push from the Titans, New York not phased, backing off and finding the people that were vulnerable. Bit surprised that we are we have Hoxall here on the A defense on Demay. Everybody getting melee kills there for some reason. <laughs> Just a beat punch down. Out. It's punch out now, I guess. It's a beat down there. Wait, the first robot fight club we weren't supposed to talk about. Oh, right? I messed it up oh. again. Ah, we're we're so bad at fight club. <laughs> and it happens. New York. That coordination that they lacked in that last round, certainly here now. We're here for that fight anyway. Oxal now switching over to the Doom Pistol. So they're not going to go and try and build up that Blizzard. Yeah. Someone two down. Ah, that's a great start for New York. Getting that early pick on the DPS. Jonette goes back. Cole Essence does a ton of damage to the Vancouver Titans. He's going to pick up a couple himself and help save you'll be finish off the rest. Even Animo getting in there as well. And that's an easy point A take. And those weird things, those weird things are kind of beginning to happen, I think. I've got a long way to go, Joe. Well, remember, the Titans really didn't lose a team fight. But NYXL, they really have either though. Split spawn, gotta help them out, get a little bit more distance on the payload while they wait for the respawn from Slime. And taking stock of things right now, uh, big ult advantage for the NYXL. Vancouver Titans, probably a little bit further behind with some of the hero swaps, especially for Hoxall. Yeah, Libero playing it safe. Not going to run in there with the shields, can't blame him. It's gonna be the supercharger used by Mono. Try to deny the Titans from coming in and stopping the payload. Also denies them from peeking and trying to poke their way into some ults. That as well. Oh, Libero. Oh, gets denied. Gravitic Flux pops right out of it, though, with his Meteor Strike. Comes right in, and that's TZ down. Loaded it up, and now it's a problem. Janu trying to make the best with the sound barrier. They've all got the shield. Excelsior with the loss of Anima might need to back up. Save will be, though. No kills, but he does split up. Vancouver a little bit, Janu down, Libero gets one on the tertiary of that fight. And that was just a great job by New York to actually split up the Titans and pick up some kills. But here comes Sabielby, and the Titans bring it right back. With a couple of kills of their own, they just couldn't win the fight decisively enough. And the Titans finally get a full stop. Less than a meter left, but the Titans with the spawn advantage get more of their members on the card. I was afraid that they might give up that point for free, but they got back in the nick of time. It was very close. To Easy stop the payload, especially when the Titans did have a player advantage. Yeah. XL threw everything they had at that. That's a big ult economy reset for both teams. Well, that's where the Titans really get dangerous. Is there's so much uh, a nice rock on that, <laughs> XL. Uh, there's so much individual skirmishing power on, these team, on this team that if you split them up, you're fighting a lot of 1v1s that are really difficult to win, honestly. Yeah, now XL gonna try for a slow push here. They're going to move everyone onto the high ground. Hawks are going to try and get a pick in the choke oh! point. He get it. He definitely got it. Animo did not see that fist coming. And now the Titans denying the push from New York. We'll see if they can get out. We'll see if they get any more exit kills. Yeah, Lucio will be able to rejoin the rest of the NYXL on that be. high ground pretty easily. So they're just going to maintain their position. Ooh, that's a good haul to knock the low mobility tanks onto the low ground. Uh, John goes down. Grab it, uh, gravitic flux used. Mono down already. Trying to do that just to secure the kills on the tanks. And looks like that'll work out just fine. That was a great flux yep. from Janu. Right read on the situation to follow up on the halt. You've got them divided. There's no easy way for them to regroup. And if they do, they go on the low ground. So if you go ahead and use that flux, you're going to catch at least two, maybe four. Right. <laughs> These rocks from uh, Janu on the low ground, or from uh, Mecha, rather, on the low ground have been pretty funny. Keeps hitting people on top of the ship. Yeah, accurate, but not resulting in any He's, uh, elimination. He's been playing his Sea of Thieves lately, hasn't he? <laughs> Got that cannon angle down. Oxal loading up another Doom Fist punch here. We'll see if the Rocket Fist does quite uh -oh. that. No, Libero. He gets it instead. Someone's who comes back with one. Here come the sound barriers. On board with Mecho now as he tries to find a good place to use that ultimate. Looks like he found it. Or oh, did he? Oh, everyone gets out. But here comes a meteor strike. Libero drops down. Oh, he interrupted the, the death blossom. That was not bad at all. Yeah, Libero with another one on to Sue, doing just what you said. Rocket punch into Hawksaw, and suddenly the Doom Fist from New York takes matters into his own hands. That's really just a good illustration of libero style you'll notice that he's playing defensively he's peeling off the back line yeah. for the death blossom and then he's waiting for hoxall to come in and counter punching and it's working out super well in that fight at least for the nyxl 
That said, Doha, they're already a minute behind on that time bank, and they are nowhere close to completing point C. So XL, they are going to have to have a very impressive run to Gibraltar if they want to give themselves a fighting chance. That's right. It's hard to run to Gibraltar. A lot of it's surrounded by water, but you can run from it's one a peninsula. angle. Yeah, no. just yeah. one angle. Run from an angle. That's what they came from, I assume. Colossus comes in from Twilight. New York advancing, though, and they've got the supercharger, but they don't have Libro. There's Johnny with the flux. Damage coming in. That's enough to take out Mecco with a little bit of help. And Titans get another full hold here, or another full stop, I should say, for the payload. You're on point C, and New York down to just about a minute 50, down to at least a minute 30 before their next fight happens. Yeah, minor commitment from the XL. Yeah. Fortunately for them, they're going to be a little bit faster here. That's rough. On some of their support ultimates. Hmm. So, Vancouver Titans, they can hold this push. They might be good to hold them off point C entirely. It's gonna be the hard one where they're pretty far behind when it comes to that economy. That's right. New York needs to make something happen. They need to make it happen right now. And the punch from Hawksall goes right through the rock, it seems like. Loading it up onto Mecco. Good amount of damage on him, but it's TZ that falls first. Now Hoxel has to go to the back lines to defend his tanks. One already down. Automo comes in for a bloodthirsty support kill at the end of Vancouver Titans. Back in spawn. You mentioned it, Monty. This was a fight to worry about if you're the Vancouver Titans, and you can see why. Yeah, now the spawn room camps are going to come in. Now, fortunately, Twilight was able to stall the payload for the majority of that fight, but they still have to walk through these choke points. They're playing into a Gravitic Flux, but they have support ults. Maybe the they thing. can do something. They got double support ultimates for the Titans. They've got the Coalescence out first. There's the sound barrier as well. Mono a little bit low. If they can finish them off, that would be huge to push this attack back, and it looks like they might be able to do just that. No, Hawks hold down, but there goes Save B as well. So and Sue back to his team for the moment here, but again, without the Reaper, New York is going to have a hard time pushing, and they only have 30 seconds remaining. They need to make something happen now. Jonex Coles is coming in. A bit of damage there. Oh, the Gravitic Flux from Chanu. Good damage on the Mecco. And that might be it for New York's attack, and that might be it for this map. Vancouver Titans on the verge of tying this up. Maybe one more desperate push coming in from New York, but they have only 10 seconds. I mean, Sabiel is hiding around the corner right now, but I'm not sure he's going to be able to get back to that payload. I don't know if he can. He's going to try. Five seconds remaining. Uh, he's going to touch, barely. Ah, uh, yeah, he's going to touch, but he's going to die immediately. So at the best, it's going to be a 5v6. Another Doom Fist coming around the corner. Echo a little bit low as well. Over time, ticking away. Libero down, and the Titans have really looked like they're going to put themselves in a position to tie this series up. And they are going to do exactly that. New York can't get there. Tie series 2-2. Nicely done from the Titans. But the issue for Vancouver is still that because they lost two maps in a row, they're going to be playing catch up while the NYXL selects maps. So as long as the XL can win their maps for the rest of the series, they have that edge. It's a very There's, good point. Yeah, we're going to see, though, because XL looked very bad on control. And it's going to be control for our fifth map. So XL with that opportunity to come back and continue to have the map pick advantage. Can they redeem themselves on the control map type? We'll find out when we come back after this. The Overwatch League is brought to you by Pringles Wavy. They're not not Pringles.
Welcome back, Overwatch fans. We are tied up two to two between New York Excelsior and Vancouver Titans. This is what I wanted. A battle of, I, you know, you can't really say Titans in that situation, can you? A battle of really good teams versus themselves. <laughs> each other, perhaps. It's each other. I'm done. It's not Dallas versus I'm Mule, done. okay? <laughs> <laughs> that does happen sometimes, I've heard, yeah. Well, let's uh, reflect on the accomplishments of these teams and ignore the casters for a moment. Pacific Division title, two. Atlantic Division titles for the New York Excelsior as they were in the league one year early. Stage finals appearances abound for both of these teams as well, and a couple stage titles between the two. Lots of map differentials, well. Yeah, this is very impressive, obviously, from both of these sides, but critically, when we look at a lot of the NYXL's accomplishments, uh, you'll notice that they were last year. All four of their stage finals appearances were last year. They didn't make it into a stage final this year. But you know what? Stage finals, they don't really matter. What matters is if the NYXL can make it into the grand finals this year, which is a much better accomplishment. That is true. They've completed the, uh, if they can do that, they've completed the true longest of long-term sandbags <laughs> that we've seen yet from the New York Excelsior. Well, it was a Gibraltar map that went the way of the Vancouver Titans, and now it's Busan, the selection of NYXL as we move to our second control map in this first to four series. The winner goes to the Overwatch League 2019 Grand Finals in Philly. Oh man, it's gonna be great. Yeah, and in spite of that loss, because the NYXL were able to take back-to-back -back maps and win one on the Titans map selection, you know, they've sort of taken the momentum of this series in that for the rest of the series, they can just win on maps that they pick and they yeah. will win the series. So is it, is, it is very important uh, that the Titans did lose one of those. Uh, and it, it, you can see the advantage the higher seed gets in selecting that first map. I mean, one of these teams is gonna be one win away from going to the finals. Indeed they will. So NYXL hoping that they can do better on control. Titans looking to use that dominating control performance they had on Lee Jong. They looked so good on Lee Jong Tower. It was ridiculous. Hoxall was like the primary assassin in that one going in now. And that is why. First kill on this control map as well. And there goes Mono and man. Just destruction comes in. Hawksall kills basically everybody. And yeah, I think Vancouver's gonna take the point first. They will. And again, we saw the same thing. When the Vancouver Titans are just staring down the NYXL and fighting in those neutral battles, we saw the NYXL tank line get chunked out again early. It's exactly what happened on Lee Chong Tower. They pressure the front line so much that they have to back off. And then the Vancouver Titans double down, charge in, and pick up the kill. So Hawksall once again dealing a lot of early damage to Mono. Look at that. Time. Unopposed. Finally gets knocked away though. Hawksall has to take a little bit of a, a breather there. No, he doesn't. No. No, just had to wait for that rocket punch cooldown to come up. That's all I needed to do. Now he's got the meteor strike instantly. Another kill on the Libero comes in. And Hawksall again. Wrecking NYXL. Not even close. These fights. I mean, look at look at New York Excelsior's alt economy right now. Like they've barely been able to build anything. Yeah, exactly. And Titans, they're just manhandling the front line. They are of the NYXL. We're not seeing Mono commit that fortify. Looks like he doesn't even know that the rocket punch is coming in, but it's coming in first from Hoxall. I mean, Hoxall does like every to, time. He does like to switch up his positioning a lot too. He is very evasive as far as where he sets up on that Doomfist. It's hard to predict where he's going to come from sometimes. And that one. Oh, he got one. Okay. Mecco gets hit with that, takes a lot of damage. Can they keep him alive? He uses that kinetic grasp to get a little bit of shields. I guess they managed to back. stay up. So barely able to stay alive. That was close. NYXL yeah. with their first real shot of taking the point right now. They've got the sound barrier slime a little bit behind. They're going to go in before slime gets his. Yep, that's right. Going to try to do that. Slime's going to have his in just a moment, though. So if Titans can weather the storm, they're going to come back even stronger in their fight. They're already at 70%. Oh. Finally, Libero gets a big one on Natizi. And Slime deciding, does he want to use it? He is going to use it. They're going to fight this 5v6. They're going to try to delay and at least put themselves one fight away. Yeah, Libero gets two. And New York winning the fight. <laughs> and they do flip it 84% for the Titans. So much used on both sides, but plenty of time for the Titans to recover now. Right. XL with the big commitments in the last fights. Slime thinking, maybe there's a chance we can come back. If I cover my teammates with that sound barrier, maybe we'll get a good pickoff. And can fight the five versus five. Not going to happen. That's the hope, anyway. We'll see what happens. Mono down on the low ground. You're safe. He'll be coming in from behind. Can he build his ultimate up quickly? Fortify instantly from TZ to try to keep that Arisa safe. Meanwhile, Sabuli still trying to build up that ultimate. Take a little while, and it's going to take maybe a bit too long. The wall came up, and Sabuli spinning by himself like a top forgotten by a child at a playground. 
And can they get back to a 90% right now? XL team kill, that's what the gong means. And do they have the mobility to attack the point fast enough? They, Mono wants to use his supercharger, but he may not even get there. Fortify used just to walk up. They, oh, barely get in. Yeah, they get that over time, but they need to get on the point. Chonak down, so goes Mono. Hoxall again with two. And Hoxall's stats have got to be out of control after this round, man. It is crazy. Go take a look at that for me, because this round's over. The Vancouver Titans with another dominant round on control. So Hoxall, speaking of stats, 21 limbs, 10 final blows for Hoxall, only one death. So you wow. talk about dominant. Not only that, Doa, but in this meta, we see a lot of Sigma players really leading their team in terms of damage. This time, 27% provided by Hoxall. So he's been crazy on control, continues to be crazy on control. Yeah, he's at his best when he can just go in and brawl, you know? Go in and play Fight Club, right? But, but not tell people he's playing fight. <laughs> that's, the, that's the important thing. Yeah, he doesn't say it. We just ruined it for him. Yeah, sorry, man. He's in, I don't know, Punch Club. <laughs> it's, a, it's very different. It's, it's not trademarked. <laughs> that, I, that I know of. Here we go, round number two on the Shrine. We'll see if New York can bring it back. Oxal already trying to take that side location. Looking for the flanks. They see him. He destroys an ancient wooden window. That's kind of sad. Doomfist doesn't care about your historical artifacts. He apparently doesn't. Even though his fist was going to be at a museum. But, eh, that's why he took it back, I guess. <laughs> uh, Titan's own. Oh, nice rocket punch. It's a few people on Excelsior. Ox also waiting. Doesn't connect with that seismic slam. Another one on a mono, though. As far as rocket punches go, Twilight with a very fast coalescence. Jonak does have his as well, though. And so New York's still in this one. Oh, Libero gets aggressive in the back line. Libero. But it's Hoxall that got the kill Libero. Libero did not connect with his abilities like he needed to. And now it's Hoxall's playground. He's going to go crazy. And there's no one to stop him. Well, Hoxall, you know, he didn't get the first pick oh, that yeah. time. But the patience of the Titans pays off. Libero maybe goes a bit too aggressive. And gets picked off first in that engagement. By the fact that that time, at least, the... Uh, Excelsior tanks managed to survive the initial onslaught from Vancouver. Yeah. Wow. When I saw Libro go in, I was like, oh, buddy. You really needed to hit someone with that. Uh, Titans at 25% and counting now. Yeah. And for a map selection from the XL, this has looked quite uncompetitive. Well, control maps have just been so one-sided for Titans. I mean, we're only in our second one, but... Three rounds so far. Mono down already. Someone's who? Easy kill there. The Rock gets uh, picked up. Does end up connecting with Hawksall. Jonak picks up a kill there. And now that save will be ultimate again. Oh, man. I got to say, save will be Death Blossoms have not been stellar today. No, especially on control. Sometimes he's had to use them just because it's been desperation time. Maybe Sabi only thought he might be able to pick up a couple of kills there and bring it back, but Could if be. you're using it when they are at about 40, under 50%, let's say, you probably should not do that. Well, he's also using him in, in a lot of situations, too, where he's already lost a few people on his yep. team, and you combine that, yeah, with your opponent's control percent, and it's rough. Oh, it's a big Gravitic Flux. Sound Barrier there to prevent a lot of the damage, though. Uh, gonna counteract with the Meteor Strike, try and push the Titans back. That's the plan. Anamo Sound Barrier has run out now, and Slime still has his. That's the big win, because now New York does not have that Lucio ultimate for the fight, and they are vulnerable. Savably already down. Janu rocks him like a hurricane with the accretion. Jonak down as well, and now Hoxall looking for another one. Doomfist v Doomfist. It has been nearly Hoxall all day long. And the Titans win another fight, and they are on the verge of a quick 2-0. I don't even know if New York can get back. I don't think they can. They will be. He can try. You know, he got stunned, and they can't reach it. The Titans crush New York on yet another control map. 37-8. to Elims for the Titans. We're going to head into another break now. Time for the NYXL to recalibrate. They'll have a pick next of Ugh. their map, but the Titans have retaken control of this series. Eight kills in two rounds on control. That is... That is rough. New York, again, with a lot to think about. A good chance to tie it up. I wouldn't be surprised. We'll see if they can do just that when we come back from our break. The Overwatch League is brought to you by T-Mobile, now connecting 99% of Overwatch League fans. Catch your league on America's network, T-Mobile.
There's a great chance this one is going the distance. After the NYXL took a 2-1 lead, it was the Titans storming back with two straight wins to push this one to match point. It's 3-2 in favor of Vancouver at the break. Welcome back into the Blizzard Arena, everybody. It's Puckhead I'm alongside Bren in Sideshow once again. And this one, we mentioned it at the earlier halftime, it's living up to the hype. Great games going back and forth. Just when I saw NYXL was going to run away with it, it's all Titans right now. What's yep. happening? They're having to run on the bike. This is a match that's Grand Finals worthy. And we may even oh, yeah. see this match as a rematch in the Grand Finals. Uh, I remember the team that loses this series goes into the lower bracket and has the potential to make a run for it as well. But so much on the line now between these both of these teams, it's really living up to the hype. It's been a really good one. And New York Excelsior has to feel great with the way they played Anubis. Blistering fast attack. Let's take a look at how the NYXL took the lead in this series going into game three. Remember, this is going to be their opponent's pick and NYXL looking very strong. Uh, yeah, I mean, Matt 3, NYXL, were on Anubis, absolutely dominated. Uh, their defense was phenomenal. Vancouver Titans did not really know how to break it whatsoever. But through the, I, I don't even know what kind of power, Haxel was able to clutch, and then it gets into overtime on point B. Clutch and again. the Titans are so good in these clutch overtime scenarios. But at the end of the day, the New York Excelsior are just able to blitz through their offense, utilizing a really cool Bastion strat. And then they've just got so much time on the point, it's inevitable. Yep, yep. Uh, they come out with this Bastion strat, and then on the second round, you can see, uh, I will say as well, it was a non-existent game from him, actually, on that map in particular. He didn't turn up whatsoever. There was no real setups like you were seeing from the New York Excelsior. That was the real turning point there. But great strategies coming out from New York. Pulling out the Bastion on the next run, they, they pull out a completely different composition, just switching around all over the place to really keep the Vancouver Titans on their toes. That's right, trying to throw off the Titans with what they're gonna run. But when you looked at the Titans, they've just kind of had one look and it's a very strong look when you have Hacksaw playing the way he did on Gibraltar. Fellas, what did he do to NYXL? Because I feel like his performance in this game may be the match changing moment. Uh, this guy's absolutely ridiculous, but the Vancouver Titans are so comfortable on Gibraltar. It's a map that they know, it's a map that they were absolutely dominant on the offense of, and Haxel is there all the time. Uh, Libero has had his moments for sure where he's been able to have really huge impact in this series. But oh, as this starts to stretch longer and longer, and the more we see these Reaper Doomfist compositions, the more the Vancouver Titans seem to be running away with it. Yes, and Sebiobi is not having the impact he necessarily wants to as well. Uh, and we see that a little bit later as well as we move into Busan. A lot of this, you're going to see these fights setting up here. Libero is ha trying his hardest. He's having an amazing game. You can see him canceling yeah. ultimates at the right time. But there's only so much you can do when you're running into the Vancouver Titans when Haxel and Tizzy are so on point with their coordination, using the halts to try and sync up a lot of this stuff. So Mansu is getting away with murder here because of all the space that's being created by Haxel in these matches. And I do want to point out again the level that these two teams are playing at. It's phenomenal. They've had time now to get to grips with the meta that we're seeing in the postseason. And these are two teams playing at what could be their peaks of all time. It was so good. So there you have Vancouver tying it up, and that took us to our second control in this series. And this one, again, it's all about the Doom Fist for me when we're watching control. They get a lot of first picks. Well, often going for these healers. It's absolutely unbelievable. The Vancouver Titans have not lost a control map this entire postseason. And one of the reasons is Haxel is just phenomenal. The way he opens up these fights is unparalleled. And New York relies so much on Libero creating space so that Sabiobi can get impact. When Haxel is, is as dominant as he is on these maps, when he's single-handedly clutching a lot of these team fights by getting opening picks like this, canceling a lot of this. Look at this, the coalescence gone. He's done this so many times in these matches. Libero has to keep up and try and match him. And when Libero can't keep up with that pace, there's no space for Sabiobi to pop off. Sabiobi on these control maps is averaging two final blows. Yeah. Two. two. They're two not final close at all. What's going on there? Because, Josh, at the start of the day, we said SBB is going to be the key for NYXL. I think the important thing to notice is that the Vancouver Titans are so good in these default takes. Control is all about yeah. having control of the map, literally in terms of the space that you occupy, forcing your enemy to push into you and abusing them. And the Vancouver Titans were clinical in how they utilized their ultimates, forcing the sound barrier out of NYXL, then pushing with their own, always going on the offensive, getting Haxel into great positions. In terms of their raw, you know, just bread and butter plays, the Vancouver Titans are phenomenal. NYXL have to take it to interesting maps, have 
have to throw in the Bastion to have a chance in this series. Vancouver Titans, of course, an expansion team here in 2019, but the NYXL, they have been a top dog since we began the Overwatch League. But when it came to the playoffs, they just always seemed to fall short, upset time and time again. Here's a look at their tough run. They fell to the Spitfire to kick off stage one, falling in that reverse sweep. Then they lost to the Valiant of all teams back in stage four. And then the Fusions knocked them out of the playoffs, crushing their dreams of going to the grand finals last year. Yeah, and because of this, we've always had very low expectations moving forward this year, at least for New York Excelsior. We never expected much from them. Every analyst, I think, had them going out in the first round. They were going to go out in the upper bracket and then go out in the loser's bracket. So far, they've been making a very dominant run and showcasing why this is a completely different squad at this point. Sebi Obi comes back into the lineup. They're rejuvenated. They're renewed. They want to be going for the wins. They want to be at the finals. Josh, I was the one guy who picked the NYXL to get past <laughs> that first round, but I didn't have them crushing the winner's bracket. Today, though, I'm rooting for the boys in New York to take us to a game seven. Let's take a look at what we have left. It will be New York's pick after losing on Busan. So they're going to go hybrid. Where do you want to see them go? I definitely want to see them go to Numbani. The two maps that they have left to pick are Eichenwald and Numbani. Now, the Vancouver Titans, like I said, never lost the control. So they've never had to pick a hybrid map. But these these assets are from the, the, the stats that you've seen before you are from the whole season. In the postseason, the Vancouver Titans are not on Numbani. They they have not won on Numbani, uh, whereas the NYXL have won it twice. So this seems like an obvious choice, whereas when you look at Eichenwald, the Vancouver Titans are two and zero. So this just seems like an obvious choice to me. You would want to take them to Numbani, despite the fact that they, uh, they had yes. the longest map win streak ever on Numbani. In this meta, they seem vulnerable there. It's ridiculous. December 2017, to everyone at home who doesn't realize, that's how long they were undefeated on Numbani. Yet yeah. it seems like the best pick for right now for New York to take them to it. Crazy New York different. fans, I have great news. Josh, Brent, fantastic news for everybody. I think we're going to game seven because the producer just said in my ear, New York has picked Numbani, and that's coming up after the break. Support your team with the official Overwatch League Coca-Cola bottles at CokeStore.com. Ships to all 50 U.S. states, Washington, D.C., and U.S. P.O. boxes. Ladies and gentlemen, the Vancouver Titans have put themselves one map win away from a spot at the Overwatch League 2019 Grand Finals. New York, though, has picked them. Bonnie, we saw the uh, the desk analysts say that this was a good choice for them. We'll see if it turns out that way or not. But one thing is for sure, New York has definitely looked better on the non-control maps, haven't they? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we look at Gibraltar, they kind of got rolled. They got clapped on the last two maps. Sure but did. It, it kind of has been back and forth where Anubis was so dominated by the NYXL. It's been really one-sided no matter who was yeah. winning, right? Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, maybe a little bit less on King's Row. It's probably been the closest map that we've had. But overall, still, you know, NYXL looking pretty darn good right now. So this is going to be their selection, like Sideshow was talking about. Even though, if you think historically about Anubis for the Vancouver Titans, where they didn't lose, some of the members on this team literally didn't lose on this map for about two years. Yeah. Which is very impressive. So stretching back to their time in Contenders Korea. But in the playoffs, they're 0-1 on it. Yeah. And uh, it's a, it is a, a bit of a different strategy right now. There are, are a lot of different compositions uh, that are not the same type that we would have seen on Numbani in the past. Some teams are still playing the Fara, though. That may be the, the closest approximation. Well, that's the thing, is that it is a new meta, and that always changes things. I kinda, you kind of have to throw out the historical stats, uh, stats for a second with that. And also, we discussed this earlier, but the Titans in these playoffs have used very few of these Bastion comps, and every time they use a Bastion comp themselves, they have averaged under 50% team fight win rate. So it hasn't been great for the Titans. Overall, they're going to be playing the far up Bastion here. And this might be in the favor of the XL. Libero going to do a little bit of scouting with yep. the Sombra. A little bit. Tele scouting. Teleport well, scouting. We'll right now. Making sure that they know what's up. They're going to see the Farmer C. They're going to uh -huh. see the Bastion. Yep. And then they are going to switch to the May Bastion. So the extra May wall there, they'll come up through the staircase onto the choke point and try and provide extra cover with the help of the ice wall from the May. Now, May's been a good answer to the Bastion just because, uh, yeah, it's, it's basically just one more barrier, you know? Nice rocket, though. Does damage to the rocket, does force an ice block early. Hmm. And it might delay them just a hair as they come up this ramp. Soulman Sue going to be ready. So here we go. Sabio, we're going to pop over. Now they're going to try. Yep, he's got the Bastion himself. Soulman Sue, though, kills Libero early. And Vancouver Titans. In good shape to keep this defense going. And now Hawksaw with the flank. Good damage onto Jonak. He's down. The Matisse out of the fight for now. Jonak gets rezzed. Very quickly brought back. See, he takes a lot of rockets, so he can't sit there in turret form. So Titans get that first hold. Yep. Strong defense to start things off. Libero barely getting anything. He's going to eat a couple of rockets on the way in. Libero try and dodge a little bit here. You can see he's waiting for that clip to be empty. That was clever. Yep. <laughs> He knew exactly where Hawksaw wanted to keep him from going, and there's the M-Matrix already coming in. Maywall goes down, traps all the Titans. Mono down, though. Twilight gets frozen. And matrix not working out too well. Oh, so say Bilby, though, comes back in with a lot of kills on that Bastion. <laughs> and Jonax, Amp Matrix certainly doing work there. I do not think they thought that Jonak had an Amp Matrix yet because the rush Could there, be. they used the Maywall to prevent the, the Farah Rockets from providing that extra damage. And the Amp Matrix provided the additional barrier penetration that they needed in order to overcome that. So, right, smart play by the XL. They have been the Bastion Masters of our Overwatch League postseason in 2019. So, so, so far, so good. 4.30 on the clock for the NYXL as they get the payload moving. Good amount of time in the fine bank. There's a blizzard under the payload. Not going to be denied. Save you'll be with the kill on the TZ early on. And clean. yep, everybody just walks into that one. Super it's a winter clean. wonderland. Super clean. Invulnerability field goes up on top of the payload. They go ahead and use the blizzard as well. Automo pops his wings, so Valkyrie comes out. But that is... A team fight win, a team kill in favor of the XL. Yeah. So you want to see attacking team for sure. Yeah, you've also still held on to the Gravitic Flux from Mecco's Sigma. And Libra on the Fara now, interestingly enough. Making that switch after using the Blizzard. Yeah, I mean, he sees that they've switched to May Reaper, so look at the, the range that they've got between the Fara and the and the Bastion here. Now, how do you really close, get close to this Bastion right now? Maybe with the Maywall, Pop Save will be up from behind the shield. Twilight down, good start. There's Libero raining death from above with those rockets. And man, between the rockets <laughs> and the Bastion, a lot of damage. <laughs> Somensu pops up to say hello, but yeah, you gotta the get out of there. there so he just yeah. ends up looking silly in the end. Yeah, you're just kind of doing was... jazz hands in front of the your impending doom. <laughs> that was uh, that was a really impressive Team 5 win from the XL again. So what they did is, you know, Vancouver Titans, they have to walk through all of these long-range damage in an open point, and they walk straight into the flux from Mecco because they have to contest the objective. So, pretty easy, and man, Excel have been, outside of that first fight, super fast so far. Well, these have been really good set plays, and if you lose to them, you're gonna just give up the point. And a boost on the, pop the flux, soon. that's right. Meanwhile, Immortality Field on top of NYXL, anti-heal onto Mono. I mean, they don't get anything because the invulnerability field is there again. Yep, that's right. And they can't kill that in time. Yeah, here's the barrage. Libero looking for an opportunity. He's going to drive down. Pick up in with a good one. Oh, there it is. Oh, it is a good one. 
Libero coming from an angle that the Titans were not quite expecting. John who comes into the kill and the save will be and now that blizzard actually from Hawksall doing a bit of work. So despite the great barrage from Libero, the Titans finally bring it back. Yeah, they had to commit the blizzard though. Anomo, Anomo with the 2k. He's going crazy, but it's not enough, John who. Yeah, it's fine. Finishes him off during I mean, that Valkyrie. Now there's honest, lots he, coming in from the XL. He got himself staggered pretty badly there, but you know, for two kills, I'll, I'll take it. I'll give that to him. That was about thirsty. Good job, man. Style points were yeah. crazy. Exactly. Plus, they still have plenty of time, so wholesale cop swap now from the XL. We are going to be in the Doomfist Reaper mirror that has mostly been working in favor of the XL. The style or in favor points, of the Titans, rather. Excuse me. The style points the intimidation factor uh, conversion is pretty good. <laughs> so, go for it, you know? Lux in right now. Will it pick up any kills? Answer's uh, no. Not quite. TZ did have, uh, or uh, yeah, TZ, I believe, did have his Fortify. That was mono, actually. New York still backing away anyway, though. And here comes Soman Su, ultimate onto Libero. Took the high arc, gets one before Samuel B finishes him off. Oh, Hoxall stunned out of his rocket punch. He has to back away. Okay, this is looking good for the XL now as they're trying to pursue, but no. Hoxall punishes Samuel B as he comes around the corner. And Twilight had the coalescence up, but he couldn't keep the tank alive. So now it's really on Hoxall with this sound barrier to try to get a few more kills. It's a five versus four for the oh, XL, though. Oh, he can't though. do it. Slime didn't look like he got the sound barrier off there. I mean, there was a little, little bit of shields on the Hawksall, but not enough to keep him safe. Meanwhile, New York excels here. Keeps pushing this payload. 2.30 on the clock to get it done. And they do it. Clock's gonna be so good as they have to get onto the payload, but they're not gonna hit anybody. No, it's not. Everyone gets out, but it does set up for a kill on the Hawksall, and everyone on Vancouver falling, no one there to contest. 2.15 is good. the time bank for New York. Really good. Time for their attack on Nimbani. And now we get into where the XL have been specializing in these playoffs. Defenses with a Bastion. Are they right. going to go for it? It's our opportunity to really hold back the Titans, tie this series up, and send us to that map seven. Uh, they picked this map for a good reason, and it has been a good map so far for New York. Can Titans bring it back when we return? The Overwatch League is powered by Intel. Game, record, stream without compromise on Intel Core i7. And by Omen, the official PC and display of the Overwatch League. NYXL is not out yet, but it's not time to relax and unwind. Oh no, because Vancouver Titans have an attack round coming in. New York's was good. 2.15 in the time bank for them, but now they have to defend against the Titans. And the Titans, remember, if they win this map, they will go to the grand finals. This is it. New York has to win two more. It's a first of four here. Can't really say best of seven because we do have time maps once in a while. Yeah, and the time maps obviously could, could be this map. Yeah, it could be this map. You never know. Yeah, for sure. And looks like NYXL running a Reaper defense could be vulnerable if the Titans see this. They will scout with the Sombra from Hoxall and then possibly switch to a Farah. Yeah, we'll see. It's a little bit of a view, but 
Titan's playing so far, uh, or uh, New York playing so far forward in this choke. He's going to have to wait. Yeah, there we go. All right. Checks it out, and he's going to make the swap over to the Doom Pits. Okay, so no real shenanigans here. They're happy with the advantage that the Doom Pits has given them so far. And yes, they are going to take the open. This is definitely where you want to do this, where you can threat the high ground with the Doom Pits without getting walled off half your team. Harder to, yeah, choke. exactly. Harder to use the May Wall when the team comes in that angle. Both the Sigma's a little bit low. Save will be down, though. Hawksall finds the first pick. And New York trying to fight shorthanded here to keep point A. Not going to be any reses. No mercies around anywhere. Do have a fast first spot, though, on this Putting defense. Another one! So Ooh. they can play back just a little bit. Save will be has revived. He'll be here soon. Yep. Uh, Libero getting bounced around. Hit with that seismic slam. Hawksall gets out before he gets frozen. New York, either way, scattered, unable to uh, defend the point. Two ticks taken by Vancouver already. And Hawksall just waits. He's so patient. And whenever New York tries to push in, that's it. Jonak does have the coalescence, but can't really get anything so four done with it. Four, and yeah. all the NYX have to do is stay on this point because they're going to have the faster respawns. That's right. They just got to hold on, but it's been two ticks taken already for the Titans. Libero uses that ice block to Blizzard delay. And so Mitsu cannot, or gets the kill before Libero gets that Blizzard. Oh, Jonak gets one into TZ, though. And so New York not done with this defense just yet. No, In they're fact, not. It's looking good. It is. Wow, it's that was very a... good. The Flux picks up the elimination. That was a close hole. Crucially, hold. XL had the later coalescence and the later sound barrier. So they had that sticking power. Really excellent patience from the XL just to pull back. Remember, Nubani is unique in Overwatch in that on this hybrid map, the defenders have the spawn advantage on this first point. Anytime you can take off the point on uh, A and B is huge because C is so difficult to take. And look at that, Janu taken out by the Blizzard immediately after getting to the point. It's going to be another defense for New York, it looks like. Uh, Titan's they, already in the retreat. Yeah, they're not going to be able to pick up any more exit kills onto So Mensu, however. And look at Titans coming up on five ultimates. This should be their push to win right now. Right. It's been a good hold for New York either way. They're setting themselves up for a point C defense. Yeah, remember, NYXL took this point with two and a half minutes on the clock, already one and a half remaining for the Titans. Yep, exactly. Here we go, Supercharger now. Johnny tries to go in and kill it, runs into some trouble. Gonna get some shots onto him from Sabilby. Onimo down. Oh, Sabilby gets a kill to Janu anyway. The team's trading blows. Hawksaw just going crazy in the yeah, middle, at though. the end, the Doomfist gonna make the difference for the Titans, it looks like. Three kills for him, and the Titans will finally get the payload going. Yeah, stall out now from the NYXL, but no one else gonna get onto that point. Three and a half minutes on the clock for the Titans as they begin to push this payload through B. They hold on to their Coalescence, though, and their Gravitic Flux. Not bad on the side of the Titans. XL going to make the change. No more May. Harder. And the, the streets are pretty wide here, so it's harder to use that May wall effectively. True enough. And the Titans uh, find an ult. Okay, that's two. And the Gravitic Flux, good damage onto that one. They oh, nearly take out Mecco. He's really close to death, but no, he gets away. Seemed like a nice setup. Either way, the payload's still moving. New York has to regroup for a moment. That's actually going to fuel a lot of support. Ult charge over to the XL. That helped a lot. Yeah, TZ does get the kill in the mono, though. <laughs> and now Hawksaw comes in on the Sable V. No die, die, die. Unless your name is Sable V, then you'll just die. Instant reaction from the Titans. Yep. The accretion stun into the chain of the rocket punch means that no value from Sable V. But XL, are they going to get a chance to defend here on this point? Looks like they're just going to hold back. Titans have pushed very far forward already. And very quickly, too. Yeah, XL gonna have to stay back. So nearly four minutes now on point C. Vancouver making up for lost time after getting held for a while on their first point. But now, is that a chance for the XL to take, take it back with some ultimate advantage? That's right, Jonak pops that Coalescence early. Sound barrier, though, for the Titans here. Meteor Strike doesn't get a whole lot for Hawksall. Jonak out of the ultimate now. Can the Titans keep pushing forward with this sound barrier? Maybe they can. They've got their own Coalescence as well. Now they've got a Doomfist in behind to worry about. Oxal, we get stunned. Can he kill anyone, though? Not quite yet. And the Titans' flank not working out. That said, New York loses a lot of health, and they lose, too, to Janu's Flux. And now the Titans continue to push forward. And where New York was looking so good on point A, 
The rest of it has been all Vancouver. And just terrible support use from the NYXL. They used their sound barrier so early and got no value out of it. Oh, Quick disengage grim. from the Titans. Summon Soup Very trying grim. to really just close this out with the Death Blossom. Gets Boop back. That's Uli down already. Janu picks up one for the Titans. They need that. And there goes Mecco as well. Summon Soup booped away as he uses his ultimate, but it doesn't matter because the damage has been done. And Twilight helping him get the finishing blows. Hawksaw gets dropped eventually. But everyone else on New York falls as well, and that is a better time bank. 239 for the Titans. They come back and exceed what New York was able to get done on their attack round. Not a lot, though. Just 24 seconds, and that is going to put things just about even here because the Excelsior have the smaller time bank. They will be on attack first. And you can't imagine the pressure on New York Excelsior right now, you know, to prove everybody wrong that they are not a team that chokes in the playoffs. They are a team that can win an Overwatch League Finals. And, you know, they certainly played like a team that could do that throughout the regular season. And so far in the playoffs, too. But here they are, down to Vancouver Titans. And on their map choice, behind in Time Bank as well, on a map that if this one goes the way of Vancouver, the match is over. New York goes down to the lower bracket. Vancouver gets in the finals. And New York would have another chance, obviously, in the lower bracket. But you don't want to go down there against Spark or the Shock right now. Especially because there's such a small amount of time to prepare. Next, uh, tomorrow is the Spark versus Shock match. Yep. And you will have 24 hours to figure out which of those opponents you are playing and then prepare for them on our Losers Bracket Final on Sunday. So definitely do or die here for the NYXL. They're going to scout. We know whoever ends up losing this one today is going to be watching tomorrow's match uh, very, very closely. All right, so different look this time on the side of the Titans. Last time they tried the Farah and the Bastion. Now they're back to the May and the Reaper. So NYXL has a chance to do what the Titans did to them, which is just approach via the main street with the Doomfist and the Reaper and try and negate the effects of that May wall as much as they can. Yep. That's the plan anyway. New they're York. Back and they're going to do it. So okay. they're looking like they want to approach via high ground. That is kind of risky. Not sure that's a good call. Really it's risky against the May, honestly. Okay, there we go. Just a fake. Putting some pressure on. Now they're going to come in on the low ground. Oh, that's a great halt. Oh, man, they pull a lot of Titans off the high ground. And now they're having to fight them on their Mono own low. level. Mono a little bit low. That's right. And Excelsior does have to back away a little bit. There's another halt thrown out. Hawksall trying to land those right clicks. Trying to get a little bit of freezing going on. Soman Suit down. Mecco finds him with an accretion. The rock does work. And the Titans struggling a little bit. In the 5v6, no ticks taken just yet. Sable gets frozen, gets out with the Wraith for him, though. And now everybody tries to jump onto Mecco, gets frozen. But there's Whoop Hawksall. Can't deliver the right click. He was in the air. He got thrown off his aim. And Vancouver still just trying to cling to life here on the point. And they're doing a good job. We're going to see the Reaper rejoin them. So much back with the sound barrier there first. They've got to get value out of this, the XL. They can't. Yeah, that's right. Slime gets his sound barrier just in time. Libero coming down right on the supercharger. Mono taken out. And now Vancouver Titans turning this fight around in a big way. That said, but now the DPS from New York again. It's so back and forth. Blizzard's Mecco up, though. gets Janu, and maybe, like you said, the Blizzard from Hawksall will be enough to sustain but it won't. Doesn't He's going to die that. with the Blizzard unused, and New York will get the payload going, it seems like. Yeah, just a, a player advantage right there, and I guess the call on the Titans was not to use the Blizzard because you're not going to be able to get back in time to win the fight. They may be grateful that they saved that because now they will be able to stop some of the payload progress a little bit easier. Blizzard, an ability that can clear out the cart, especially right. when you have to stay on it in overtime. And we are seconds away from overtime for NYXL and what could end up being their final push in the upper bracket. We'll see if they can keep it going here. There's a blizzard from Hawksall. Now it's coming in handy. Gets a freeze on Nemeko. Looking for the headshots. Tizzy finds it for him. Save be gets Tizzy, though. And now Save be gets another one. The New York trying to keep pushing work. back. That's right, the extra damage from that ultimate from Arisa. Now Save be from on high, from the top ropes, onto the Titans in the back line. And the New York Excelsior keep pushing forward. Coalescence there from Jonak to keep the Excelsior topped up. Only one elimination through the Blizzard. Will Hawksall change? He will. Over to the Doomfist now. But this might be a pretty good run. Look at Onimo. He's going to have that sound barrier just a little bit faster. Well, it's looking really threatening. And point B is a point that not a lot of the teams fail to take, even in situations like this. 
That could all change if Vancouver wins a fight. We'll see though. Sabiolbi has to use great form immediately. Yep, sound barrier now for NYXL. Slime still a few seconds off of his, and that could be big because here comes Sabiolbi. He's su he's suffered with the Death Blossoms all day, but he got a big one there right before Slime got the sound barrier on the Vancouver side. That was clutch. XL really using that timing window where they had the sound barrier and the Death Blossom combination. That's why Sabiolbi was able to get so many limbs because Slime just was 2% away from a sound barrier of his own. So the, the extra shields help Sabiolbi stay alive. And now they push into C. That's right. You like Coalescence? Well, it's time to see Jonax. That's right, it has to use it to keep Libero alive. Twilight's just finishes right now, but they do have Slime Sound Barrier for this fight. New York has to play a little bit safe. They're lacking that Lucio all right now. Anamo's still at about 30% with it. They managed to weather the storm, and now it's time to push forward. Save will be getting close to that ultimate again. And Mecco, oh, his Gravitic Flux really close now. Libero already got one onto Jono, but Libero down. Can they finish it off? There's the stun on Nemeko. The Rock connects first, so the Fist connects first. Save will be again. Another Death Blossom kill on the Slime. And New York just trying to fight to sustain, but the respawns are better for the Vancouver Titans right now. It's going to be so hard to keep this one going if you're NYXL, but they might just do it. Supercharger there. That's going to be huge as the DPS come back in. That's a lot of damage. That's right. Janu has to back away. They have to give ground. And every bit of ground they give is devastating for the Titans when they think about what they need to do on their attack run. Oh boy, is this going to be six points though in the NYXL? That Super would be crazy. down, but they have two support ults. That should be enough to push them over the top. Oh, uh, we'll see. Janu waiting for him to just use that flux. Overtime has been deep. Can he just pull him off the payload? Oh, he can't quite do it. And it's Savi will be in Hawksaw or rat to the teasing Hawksaw going down. And I think New York, they've done it. They're going to get six points. Insanity on the bunny. Talk about a good map pick. They do it in overtime. What an epic push from the NYXL to keep their winner bracket run potentially alive here. They had 24 fewer seconds to only two minutes and 15, and they made it through all six points. I don't think uh, I don't think anyone's going to accuse New York of choking in this playoffs anytime soon, man. That was the opposite. That was beyond clutch. Yeah, you know, we don't we haven't mentioned Jonak's name a lot in the playoffs, but his Moira positioning was fabulous in that last push. He had yeah. such great value on the flank from his coalescence. His teammates were grouping up, so he was able to get a lot of that AoE healing done. And especially him and Animo having those two support alts were ex what they needed to just jam the payload through, allowed them to survive Janu's Gravitic Flux. Right, well, that's the thing. I mean, Moira, you know, isn't the biggest playmaking support. She's not as flashy as like a Zenyatta or an Ana, but if you have good positioning, you can put out insane amounts of healing and damage. And that's exactly what Jonak's been doing all day long. So, the Vancouver Titans, it's their turn to attack. Two minutes and 39 seconds in the time bank. Jonak's like, I don't even need this. I just <laughs> heal other people with my hands. Well, uh, that's quite the gauntlet that's been thrown down by the NYXL and it, exactly what they needed. So now, Titans must push all the way through the map. And if that happens, each team will get a minute and we'll <laughs> see another attack round from both teams. I mean, it's so unlikely, though. I mean, it would be an insane for uh, the Titans to do that. <laughs> and that's true. Yesterday, the Spark versus Rain, the Spark did actually push through again in overtime and an epic overtime push. Even more epic than that one, by the way, for the six points. It was crazy. Nibani is the place to be for points these days, apparently. So again, low ground approach. Same attack, same defense that we saw the last time from these two teams. Yep. I think we're trying to be a little bit aggressive here. Their shields are running out. They got to go in soon. Oh, the rocket punch misses Sabi will be, though. Knocks a little bit of trouble there. Trying to go in, gets a seismic slam. Hey, Sabi will be raids out, TZ down, and yeah, that's a problem for Vancouver. Yeah, you as New York's defense is starting to look pretty solid. Yeah, you just have no point presence. If you lose your Arisa, now you're trying to get back to the choke point and escape without getting staggered. Yep. But you do get staggered because there's a bay wall inhibiting your retreat. That's right. Vancouver building some ultimates there, but New York in the lead in a lot of those categories. That said, both Moiras have their coalescence, so you're going to see those in the next fight most likely. Supercharger might be the big difference here. Could Mono, be. Mono, because TZ died so early and Supercharger so insanely important. Now, Libero's really got to build up that Blizzard, too. That's going to be another big one for New York to keep holding here. Coalescence gets used by Twilight. Got to keep people alive here. Echo takes a lot of damage. Jonak uses his will. Save you'll be. Gets a kill to Somensu anyway. 
Twilight throwing that damage orb into the hallway, trying to do what he can to try to just pick up a kill somewhere, right? But New York still holding. There goes Hawksaw. Both damage dealers taken down on the Vancouver side. And it's going to be another stuffed push by the New York Excelsior. Oh, 55 man. seconds remain. And what this means is that even if the Titans are able to come back and push through on this next attack round, well, they're still going to have to push through the rest of the map in overtime, where if they leave the card at all, they will right. lose. So, problem is also, look at the value. Excel has all of their ults, and they have Blizzard. Blizzard is the most key ult in overtime, because it'll cover the entire point, and it'll just freeze you when you must contest on the objective. That's right. And chanting, let's go New York, as Samuel Lee goes in, and he follows their fights, that's 2k off the Death Blossom, and Libero has a blizzard to spare, might not even need it, 20 seconds, and Vancouver is getting sent packing on Nimbani, one last touch maybe from Slime coming in, but they're all jumping on the Lucio now, no, he's not gonna get there, 10 seconds just remain. Just the Reaper, it's just Summon Sue, can he get here in time, he's gonna drop down from above to trigger the OT with the Wraith Form. I asked the Wraith Form in, so he does touch, he does trigger the OT. Here comes a Wrecking Ball. They're gonna use it. Soman soon, Janu down already though. And New York has all the ultimates in the world to secure this one and secure themselves a third map win in this series. And they will do it. I can't believe it. New York Excelsior coming back, <laughs> winning it on Nimbani. We are going to map seven. What a thrilling series this is. NYXL bringing it back in time bank. Get six points. And then they full hold the Titans on their second attack round. Say they'll be out there <laughs> looking for high fives. Some of his teammates might be leaving him hanging. Uh, they didn't leave him hanging in game, that's for sure. And some concern on the face of the Titans as they realize it's their map choice, but it all comes down to this next map. Don't go anywhere, guys. It's going to get insane. Just a few. The Overwatch League is brought to you by T-Mobile. Now connecting 99% of Overwatch League fans. Catch your league on America's network, T-Mobile. Ladies and gentlemen, it is happening. On the back of some great play by Sable B and the rest of the New York Excelsior, we are going to get the treat of a map seven, a map that will be on an escort map, which means that it's nearly 99.9% .9 sure this next map will decide the series. Yes, it's theoretically able, it's theoretically possible to tie on an escort map, but it's not gonna happen. Whoever wins this next map is going to the finals. Yeah, we should have a victor. 
barring some very ludicrous circumstances. But yeah. at, nobody during this series, who knows at this point? It has been so tight. I mean, New overall. York takes six points on Nimbani. I don't think a lot of people <laughs> would have predicted that. But you know, New York, with his as rough as control maps looked for them, and and uh, some of those other ones too, they've really, really looked awesome on uh, hybrid, especially. Yeah, but now we're going to escort. And remember, this was also the same map type that we saw the Titans select uh, coming true. off of a loss earlier in this series. They picked Gibraltar and they crushed the NYXL on Gibraltar. They did. So it's the question is, now, was that kind of, they're like, all right, well, this is the escort map we really are going to be ready for. We want to pick just in case. You know, are they going to be as confident on Dorado? Did they plan on having to pick two escort maps? Yeah, I, I think we've we've actually seen, you know, we are going to Dorado next, as you say. Spoiler uh, alert. Spoiler. Yeah. Uh, Dorado, I think, does make sense. XL do have a losing record on this map throughout the season. Yeah. Right now, we have seen five and one for the Titans. But beyond just the record with all the meta changes, if we think about how successful the Titans were on Gibraltar, it has very similar map architecture in terms of a lot of high ground sure. uh, to play around. And the Titans were extremely good uh, in that scenario. So. Toronto, also a map that I think is going to reward a lot of the uh, Doomfist Reaper play that we've seen dominate this series. NYXL, they are going to have none of it, though. Look at this. Yeah. They're setting up with a Fara Bastion defense here, at least on A. True enough. And so this will be the map, most likely, where this match is decided. Winner of Dorado is almost certainly going to the Grand Finals. We only have to add the caveat almost certainly because it's it's possible to tie on escort maps, but it's not going to happen, guys. This is the last map. New York Excelsior on the defense. They're going to start things off with the Bastion defense. And what's the plan for Vancouver here? They're going to stick with the May once they see this. I think you probably can. I think you're wanting, going to want to use that to block. Pharmacy going to start things off. You see Twilight on that Ana just to provide a little bit of pressure in the sky. Yep. Oxal use that ice block early to avoid going down. Oh, nice. the sleep dart. <laughs> Luckily, he lands on the roof. He's okay. And the road's going to take a All brief right. nap there. Uh, yeah. He, his trajectory was such that he landed on the roof, which is nice. Yep. Could have been disastrous if he landed on the low ground. Janu somehow getting up onto the high ground right there. Twilight's oh, still Twilight. trying to get some damage down. And you know what? They forced the XL back. So now XL have to rotate the Bastion into the choke point. Yep. And Twilight's been a pleasure to watch all season long, man. One of the best honors we have. That Bastion, though, tough to contest. Janu taking a little bit of damage. Hawks all down. That's going to help. Another sleep dart, though. Twilight doing a really good job on the Ana so far, shutting down some of these threats. But again, with losing a player, they're only buying time. They're trying to stay alive in the side buildings right here, outside of line of sight of this Bastion and Para. I mean, the problem is you have to go out and contest the payload at some point. I mean, the problem is you have to get your May to the rest of your team. Yeah. So you might, you know, they're gonna try and wall off, I guess, on the approach, but May is Maybe. behind them. Where's the May? There it is. Uh, all right, so they do manage to get him back there. They can start to try to push again, Vancouver. The Libero has that. Mirage loaded up, and he's gonna get two before the sleep, sleep dart <laughs> finds him. So, it's a nice sleep dart, but a little bit too late to save the teammates. That said, Vancouver still picks up a couple kills. That payload is still moving. Save me, though, picking people off, and now Anamo flies in to try to get a bloodthirsty mercy kill, but nope, they gotta, they gotta contest that payload. It's still moving, guys. Well, there's John is behind them annoyingly yeah. right now, so That's right. he's actually causing quite a few problems, but the problem should be over as long as Save me doesn't accidentally explode himself in this tank I mode mean, as he's trying to rocket jump around. That barrier negates most of that damage, but it's actually quite a clever, tricky little flank there by Janu. Because that ended up being much closer than you yeah. think it would have. Well, Janu had some weird positioning yeah. that threw the XL off. So Vancouver regrouping to try to finish point A. Oh man, great shots. That's three without any healing. That would have killed him. Three shots from Ana without any healing would kill Afara. All right, got to be careful now if you're the XL. You're yeah. looking for this gravitic flux from Janu. Don't want to get your Bastion picked up right there necessarily. They do have an invulnerability field, though, for the slam down. Yep. That's the plan. If they can eliminate Jonak, maybe they can make something happen here. Nice May wall to push Sable B up, make him reposition here. And that's going to make them go and use a Gavitic block. Sable B firing away. A lot of damage onto him. Can they keep him alive, Blender. though? Immortality field was there. Jonak kills Somensu. But Titan's coming back with quite a few kills of their own. Nice rock onto the far as well. <laughs> and it looks like the Titans might finally be able to finish point A. Mono, find a little bit more time, but that's it. Excuse me, Hoxall just got up onto the high ground there and got the freeze onto the Bastion, so even better. Yeah. Because he retains the Blizzard for this next push. Now, May, not amazing on this next point because the high ground is so important. Right. But Hoxall may just try and 
force a fight on the cart anyway, even though it's not ideal, because you don't necessarily want to switch off while you have that ultimate available. Say will be now making a change over to the Reaper. So they are, but they got, you know, they got some decent time off the clock there on A, so not, not a bad defense so far for the XL. The Titans have a chance to really get rolling with the Blizzard now. Yeah, it's all about trying to take that momentum from that last fight on A and carry it through. Libero's got the barrage. And it's going to be the mana boost. Meanwhile, Twilight using that. Janu doing a lot of damage. And Mecco down. All right, barrage from Libero. Sleep dart. Again. But again, after he gets two kills, they wake him up right away. And he gets out. You know, he's finding these barrage angles, and the sleep darts just are not coming in soon enough. That's one of those times where you're like, well... Maybe we shouldn't have stayed on the May because the Blizzard didn't actually end up having too big of an effect. And you'd imagine he's going to swap now. We'll see. He's see. He's not. Staying with it. Okay. Huh. Really uh, concerned, I guess, about... Uh, I think the idea yeah. is because you have a Farmer C, you know you're going to have a 6 versus 4 on the payload. So you try and force the fight there. That's true. I suppose you are a bit more durable that way. Not durable enough, though, as uh, Mecco does drop down. Oh, the reload! Oh, they got him in the end, though. Right out of Wraith form. Libero manages to pick another one up, and New York looking pretty good on the defense for the moment. That payload still got some movement, but it might not get any for a little while there. Hawkshaw gets a right click on the Libero. Wow, that was sick. Oh, oh summons two from behind. That was so clutch because now the respawns are going to come in. If he doesn't get the two kills there with the Death Blossom, then all of a sudden, NYXL have a good chance to hold. Now they have to commit ults to hold this. All right. They use it. TZ manages to fortify his way out of the flux. Mecco gets a kill on the slime. New York still kind of keeping that payload where it is, more or less. Yeah, they've got to fall back, though, Doa. They got hit by the biotic grenade, so they're chunked out. So in the end, that death blossom have actually super high value. Yeah. Summon two. Speaking of high value death blossoms, Sable will be trying to set himself up for one right now. And needs like one more. There we go. He's got it. Coming down from behind. Did they see him there? Oh, the uh, boost comes in. The shield there. Twilight down. Libero gets one kill. And the Supercharger not lasting long. There's a Blizzard now from Vancouver. Can they finish off the rest of New York? They've pushed them mostly away from the payload, but now it's Libero coming back to try to secure some kills as he gets healed by the Coalescence from Jonak. Libero down though, finally, and there goes Animo. So the payload is going to keep going. Yeah, they're going to just stall it out right now, but they're trickling onto the cards. Sandy will be not going to last long. 40 seconds left, but the Vancouver Titans will be taking point B. Wow. So we're gonna go into point C. Two minutes remaining for the Vancouver Titans to get their push done. Fall back temporarily because of the late spawn there on Sabi. will be no split spawn, so. Yep. So a bit of a positive there for the NYXL. Some free payload movement though. Door will open for the Titans. You get one solid stop as the defense. You're feeling pretty good on point C, Dorado. And a boost up for the Titans. Is it on so Min Su. Yeah, this time it goes on to So Min Su, who tries to walk forward here. A lot of that damage absorbed by the uh, kinetic grasp, but not enough to save Jonak. And now So Min Su backs away. The payload has been moving. They gave space anyway for the Titans to push forward. Again, it's that pressure onto the front line that the Vancouver Titans have. Allows them to get so much movement on the payload. Yeah. Chance here to complete Dorado with a minute or so remaining. Oh, they're close, man. One minute to go, but So Min Su nearing another ultimate right now. Gotta watch out for Libro's Rocket Punch, though. That's a problem. It's Wraith Form was still on cooldown. And here we go. Flux comes in from Mecco. This is the fight they want to turn around. Get stunned! Oh, and TZ down. So he got one. But now Libero comes back with another one. Gets two. And New York's defense is looking very strong. Under a minute now for Titans as they regroup. Yeah, but you have to ask what the price is, Doa, because Slime nearly has that sound barrier. They're coming in. And we saw how well the NYXL on our last map did with that payload at the last point, punching through with two support ultimates. It is very meaningful. But yeah, there's not true. a coalescence, to be fair. So Nano Boost provides durability and some healing onto one target, but it's mostly about that damage output. You got a lot of good targets in Vancouver, though. Might even see that on the Orisa with this push. Well, could be some Beyblade action as well with uh, something too. And the Death Blossom. It's quite possible. Last push here for the Titans. Yep, that's right. 15 seconds to go. Titans need to get it done now. They're going to start with the sound barrier. Going in now. There's a stun on Summon out 2. Of oh, no Death Blossom. It got canceled. Here's a Gravillic Flux. It needs to be big. And Sable will be down. That helps. Nice rock. Meanwhile, on to Mecco. Libero taken out. Vancouver Titans getting a few kills. But are they enough to push all the way through as we're into overtime now? Hawksall looking for kills on the side. And he gets Jonak. 
trying to pick off the stragglers on New York. The defense peeled apart by the Doomfist, and here comes a meteor strike onto the payload. Damage done. Seismic Slam doesn't find anybody. Satan will be manages to dodge a punch, but not the uppercut. Just and stalling. Libro comes down, and that is it. And the Titans get it done in OT. So close there for the Titans, but they do manage to finish. And remember, because we are on Escort, even though they finish on OT, they will get another attack round no matter what. Wow. Vancouver Titans. So close to getting stopped on point C, but in the end, you know, a lot of that, I think you got to give a lot of credit to Hawksall too. He's so good at just scattering the defensive team and then uh, picking off the stragglers, you know? Yeah, Hawksall has been exceptional here tonight, as we expected, just fantastic damage dealing player throughout these playoffs and our uh, rookie of the year this year as well. You know, and we made a comparison earlier to his uh, Genji and how Doomfist and Genji have some similarities. And one of the things that's carried through a lot, I think, is his target selection. Um, it's, it's always extremely good. And it, he really had that with his Genji play as well, where he knew exactly who on the enemy team was the most vulnerable at that moment. And he would consistently go after that person and get a kill. Yeah. He's just, he's crazy accurate with these rocket punches too, yeah. in terms of finding those vulnerable targets, like you're saying. Yep. He knows how to, to read a fight in four dimensions, man. It's insane. <laughs> hey, go back in time too. Yeah, no, you can look forward in time. Oh, look That's forward in time. Saying. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, you don't know. Maybe he uh, fights the first fight that goes back in time and corrects himself. I mean, we wouldn't really know, right? <laughs> we to know. us, it would all just be playing out in real time. <laughs> It's crazy either way. Although if they lose, I think that's disproved. <laughs> How do you do that? That's true. That actually is an excellent point. That's true. Or unless he just wants to stay humble. And he's like, oh, I'm going to go make a lower bracket run. <laughs> well, this is it. What All right. could be, what probably will be the final round, unless New York finishes it in this match. New York on the attack. They must get three points. All right. So far a Bastion on the attack, just like we saw in their A defense. Yep. Say will be on turret form on that payload. Hawks all gonna try to come around the flank here. That's a nice uppercut. Getting people off the payload there. Good seismic slam. Got Konak. the invulnerability field, but that's uh, not enough TZ. to save TZ. will be finally down, but the loss to TZ hurts hard for the Vancouver Titans. LeBron does get the kill in the twilight though, so it is a bit of a brawl here at the very beginning of the push. But the respawn timers are gonna be there. Jonah tries are. to jump on top of the building, but Hoxall is there to meet him with a fist to the face. I mean, the, the jumps from Batista are not exactly subtle. There's a, a long power-up period. You know where he's going to go. It's, it's a little bit easy to predict. Yeah, the thing is, though, they can't stop the payload. So great, you won the fight, but payload's still moving. Thanks That's for spawns. The and they also are going to have, as they go through this choke point, the amplification matrix courtesy of Jonax Batiste. Yep. Well, you put out so much healing as a Batiste in this situation, too. Your AoE healing is just crazy. Get that immortality field like we're seeing right there. And Mono picking up kills. New York not stopped. Got that amplification <laughs> matrix. And they are amped up. So the difference, Whoa. Noah, is this time the Titans did not have the Ana. So there was a lot less pressure on Libero's Farah in the sky. He's been able to take more aggressive angles as a result of that. Now, the Vancouver Titans, they can change their composition. And they've got the extra healing, so they can sort of just run at the payload, right? Yep. And it worked a little bit. Now they're going to try and delay here. One last delay coming in from the Titans here on point A. Libero dies as he gets the barrage. Hawks with the kill on the Mecco. And I don't think New York was expecting this. They uh, did not look prepared because they got wrecked. They definitely did. Bold defense right there, but the Titans know they need every second off the clock. They'd like to, you know, obviously advance to those grand finals. Well, yeah. So taking a risk there, but it ends up paying off big time. Oh, well, it's huge because. Like we said before, like it is true on uh, so many of these maps, point C is so difficult to take. Interesting swap, because they did have the configuration tank, the Bastion Ultimate, ready and waiting, and instead they're resetting their economy. Well, it's hard to get back to a position where you can use it. Yeah, sure is. Yeah. Oh, uh, Somansu jumps right in! Stunned. Stunned out of the Death Blossom, though, before he gets any kills. Does bring out the sound barrier now for Vancouver to keep their Reaper alive, and that's going to let Somansu just walk forward. The Flux comes in to put the icing on the cake of death for Vancouver Titans to win another defensive fight. And now, if you're New York, you are terrified. Well, at least they have the Gravitic Flux, Stoa. So Mecco, now that they know they don't have Sound Barrier, if you can catch a few people in here, that could really easily turn the fight for the XL. Twilight, not quite with that Coalescence yet. We'll get it quickly. He has it now. Yep. Titans have a good amount of ultimates. Watch Mecco. Yeah. Flux is going to be huge. 
Yeah, he needs to land a good one. And Vancouver knows this. They're spreading out pretty well. Rack, Rascal, or uh, Hawksaw, rather. Wrong team. Gets the Meteor Strike, trying to find New York. Comes down. Ooh, no kills out of that one. But Samuel B gets one to Soman Su. Good start for the NYXL. Now Hawksaw loading up another one. Nice kill on the Mecco. Mecco did not end up getting that Gravitic Flux that New York was maybe looking for. That said, the payload is moving a little bit, but they need to finish off not this fair. fight. And the Titans are going to provide them with some problems, but no New York. Like you mentioned, they got the Lucio ultimate, they got point A, finally, but still, three minutes on the time bank, and that's a lot less than you want to have going into C. Yeah. Good hold on A by the Titans as they look to close out this series. They also force the sound barrier from the NYXL, which, as we saw in that last fight, opens up the opportunity, at least for a flux. Didn't end up happening for the XL, but it could happen with Janu here. Yep. NYXL. Oh, Summon Zoo actually got stunned there. That could have been dangerous. Don't worry, he's a ghost. <laughs> Rape away. Or is he? Oh, Anamo, he's a ghost now. <laughs> Teezy gets one as Vancouver starts the defense off early. On board with Janu on that Sigma. It's got the ultimate locked and loaded. May not even need it. Summon Zoo and Hawksall picking up kills. And it's going to be Libero picking up the kill onto him instead. But Hawksall coming in and playing cleanup. Another 2K. Libero still getting more in the back lines, but the payload stopped for now. Yeah, and he's not going to get anything else, and he's going to get staggered. So the value of that kill on the summon suit could have been good based on respawn times, but it ends up potentially being harmful for them. Though they do get some more movement on the payload here. Titan's falling well back to the next choke. Yeah. You know, they, when you have that really, when you finish the map, you know that you can play a little bit more conservatively. All right, Mecco. Brought high. Uh, Rock connects. Who can they get the kill? No, the coalescence is there for Jonak to keep him alive. John who gets a little bit more shields with the kinetic grasp. And here comes a meteor strike. Slam jammed on Anamo. Hawksall picks another one up on the Mono on the way out. He gets stunned, but his team comes through. Libero still trying his best, trying as hard as ever to pick up more kills for his team, but it's just not enough. You got to feel for Libero. He has played so great all day. And they got to win the next couple team fights, Doa. This is NYXL's really winner bracket run on the line. That's right. You're not out of the tournament, but you are going to the lower bracket. You got to play another match to make it to the finals. Meanwhile, Vancouver on the verge of sending themselves to the finals in their first season in the league. Mecco, not a lot of shield remaining. Libro looking for a place with that meteor strike. Going to take the safe route. Okay. You know, knocked can... out. All right, that's a great finisher. Whoa, Janu down. Libero low, who barely got out of that coalescence in time. It was close. Goes for a rocket punch, but that's Fortified. a fortified reason. That's not going to work out too well. And now Libero has to back away. The Titans again have claimed control of the payload, and Libero drops. 25 seconds remain for New York, and they have a Herculean task ahead of them. You got to get through the rest of this map. They'll get more time if they reach the next checkpoint, but the payload is only halfway through. Luckily, though, it's come down on some of these final pushes again and again to who has most support alts. True. The answer is the NYXL. True enough. But the Vancouver Titans know. They know that winning this fight will send them to the Overwatch League Grand Finals. One team fight went away from going to Philly. Can they win it? We're into OT. This is make or break for New York. Rock comes up. It stuns. Save Solomon Sue in the back line, so it doesn't get anything. Meanwhile, Hawks all take it out as well. Slime got one, but maybe Janu can turn this fight into the Titans' favor. They can, Doa. The, the South Barrier's there. The Titans are winning. That's going to help a lot. Twilight's got the coalescence as well. And New York being chased away. Chased on the payload. Chased down to the lower bracket. Summons to a two in the end. And Libero, who's been a hero all match long. Now he and Samuel B, the last men standing. But they just can't get the job done. The Titans do it. They are going to the Grand Finals. The Titans have done it yet again. They've reached stage finals this season. They've won stage final this season. And now they have a shot to cement their legacy as an expansion team by winning our grand finals in Philadelphia. And man, so much hype coming in about this team at the beginning of the season. They were huge in Korea's team runaway. And now in the Overwatch League, taking a quick trip to the grand finals. Definitely what you want to see as Absolutely. a Titans fan. You only have to play those three series, get those three wins, to make it into these grand finals. Now their opponent will be waiting for them. The yep. NYXL, Hangzhou Spark, and San Francisco Shock still alive.
New York. A little bit stunned, but at the end of the day, yeah, you gotta hold your head high. You took it all the way to map seven and you're not out yet. You got a chance to come back, get that spot on Sunday now, like you mentioned. But today, it's all about the Vancouver Titans. I know it was prophesied, a wolf came from the east and spoke to us. It howled and said, a team called Runaway will beat everybody. They changed their name to the Titans, but so far so good. Let's send it over to Danny to see what Twilight and the rest of the team have to say. Monty Nduwa, thank you very much, everybody. Give it up for the Vancouver Titans, yeah! <laughs> Alrighty, before I go into uh, interviewing Twilight, let's actually have the jerseys. Can we? Can I get the jerseys right now? Our super fan today, it is a bit more special. The actual whole team is going to sign the jersey and give it to our super fan. So let's start with Johnu. You go tie. You sign it. 이제 한 분, 네, 한 분씩 다 이렇게 사인을 먼저 해주시면 되고요. Twilight, 먼저 we're gonna do the interview. All right. So winners bracket finals. You guys, it was a difficult match, but Titans clutched the win, and you guys are going to Philadelphia. How did you guys get the win against NYXL? 자 오늘 어. Blizzard Arena is in the LA's in the Majima Kongosimda. So, what he woman and ship Jiman and Anan Kongosiman, good take us on Pinko Timi, Igishi de Jondeo. Uno Otoke, Igishi de Nile. Olen and Soiga, the Tom Duo, Shiki, Gekor Sango and the Tone, Kongis, or Divero Sonso, Maraton Otoro, Hamboshi, Chubo Pachan, Shiki, Sincharo, Shirani de Ajibo, Kongi Sachaman, Hindro Tonga. So coming into today's match, I thought that it was going to be an easy win for us. For us, but as the game played out, just like Libero said in his uh, in his post-match interview a couple days ago, um, you know we did trade blows and it was a back-to-back -back match. And I feel like it was a really good match overall. All right, so you guys are going to Philadelphia. How are you feeling right now? How do you have anything you want to say to the fans? 자 이제 드디어 결승전만 남았는데요. 네, 트와일렛 선수 마지막으로 좀 팬분들에게 하신 말씀 있으면은. 네, 한 말씀 해주시고 지금 좀 소감 한 말씀 부탁드릴게요. 어 일단 항상 저희를 응원해 주시는 해외 팬분들이랑 한국 팬분들 항상 감사하고요. 이제 결승까지 가게 됐는데 우승으로 보답할 수 있도록 노력하겠습니다. So thank you to all the fans all over the world, whether you are in Korea or in, the, in, in America. Thank you guys so much for always supporting us. Uh, we will reply back to all of your support and love by taking it all in the grand finals. All right, everybody, give it up for Vancouver Titans one more time. How many, how many, uh, how many autographs or how many signatures did we get? 자, 지금 사인 얼마나 누구 누구 하셨나요? 자, 빨리 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 주세요. 빨리 빨리. Could we actually get the fan out first, our super fan? Hi. What's your name? My name is Peyton. Peyton. Do you have anything you want to say to the Vancouver Titans? Um, I hope they do good in the grand finals. And if there's like a rematch between New York, we're going to beat them. 4-0. 알아들으셨죠? 어떻게 해서 가서 잘하시고 꼭 이기시길 어, 바라겠다고 말씀하셨는데 마지막으로 트와일러 선수 해주시고 and then you will get the special jersey signed by the whole team. All right, let's uh, let's give them the jersey. 자, 일단 빨리 끝내시고요. 지금 넘어가야 되거든요. Jersey here, everybody, signed by the whole team. Congratulations. Thank you guys so much, casters. Back to you guys. <laughs> Thank you, Danny. That was a, that was an exciting signing, wasn't it? But <laughs> Vancouver Titans, obviously, you know, now guaranteed by that fan to do a 4-0 in the final. So <laughs> uh, it's nice. Like, I'm sure if every fan could dictate that. <laughs> I mean, it, it's Titans today, strong yeah. wins, but you know, they only won on control and on escort. So I think still some questions. A bit surprising uh, that the XL came out so weak on control. But it's going to be a really exciting finals either way. But Check out the lower bracket. Spark Shock playing tomorrow. They are going to face New York Excelsior in the lower bracket finals on Sunday for that second spot. So New York, if you're a New York fan, don't worry. They got another chance here. Let's take a look at our player of the match brought to you by Omen. Of course, it's got to be Hawksall. Come on. <laughs> the guy was insane today on the Doomfist. Like, wherever you thought Hawksall wasn't, that's where he was. And that's where your players were dying as well. And really, the maps that we saw the Vancouver Titans win, especially those control maps, were so dictated by the initial damage and engages that Hawksall was bringing. Because when these teams met in control, it was him bullying Mono in the front line that got them a lot of these team fight victories. Beyond that, though, 
Again, exceptional mechanics, of course. 178 eliminations, casual lead, yeah. only 50 deaths. I mean, 92 of those were final blows, yeah, too. Pretty good. So more final blows than anything. And what an insane match. And uh, we're only get, just getting started this week, guys. That's right, two more yet to follow. But this match lived up to everything we could have hoped for. Seven games. So happy I got to be here to cast it. It was great. Don't go anywhere, though, guys. Watchpoint post show coming up right after this. Connecting 99% of Overwatch League fans. Catch your league on America's network, T-Mobile, State Farm. Whatever life brings your way, State Farm is here to help life go right. Xfinity. Xfinity X5 gives you the speed you need to game like a pro. And by Toyota, official North American partner of the Overwatch League. Toyota, let's go places. 